Hey, it's Alina. My name is Belinda. <laughs> and I'm addicted to kicking frogs. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I just love the feeling. I love kicking frogs. <laughs> Belinda kicks 523 frogs a second. That's more than 3,586,000 frogs a year. Ever since my mom took me to the park and I saw a frog that was in my way, I kicked him. And ever since then, I just couldn't stop and I can't stop doing it. <laughs> Honestly, my daughter is crazy. When she first did it, I thought it was just a faint. But now she's nearly in her 20s and she's still kicking frogs. For what? For what? Belinda, why are you kicking frogs? They're just frogs. They're animals like you. Mom, it was in my way and I had to get out. Plus, it feels so good to kick a frog. It feels so right. <laughs> Little did Belinda's mother know that this was the start of an addiction. Honestly, kicking frogs just gives me a satisfaction that I've never ever felt and I could never ever feel with anything ever. It just feels so right to use my body part to hurt another mammal. Ha ha ha! Just kidding, you thought I couldn't speak English? Anyways, that Belinda is crazy. And somehow she always seems to kick me because I'm the only one at the park really. Because when everyone sees her, they run away. I don't know why I don't run away. I should. Ha 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 ha. Toadie the Frog jumps around happily in his home. He is very frightened of Belinda and is scared when she'll pounce. I just want to kick you, little frog. Come back! It gets me so angry when the frogs run away. Why are you running from my legs? <laughs> Will I ever stop kicking frogs? Not a chance. It's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> frogs are green. Belinda's mother has agreed to help her get rid of her addiction. I need to stop my daughter from kicking innocent frogs. Stop it, Melinda! Stop it right now! <laughs> oh my god, Mom! You made the frog run away! Ah! So it's you right. Why are you kicking that poor innocent soul? I've been kicking frogs for 13 years of my life. It feels good. Deal with it! Yeah! I give up. Over the time, Belinda's addiction has gotten worse. <laughs> Belinda has broken a leg frog kicking, but that didn't stop her because she has two legs. I have had it with her. I'm gonna show her what she deserves. Belinda is looking for frogs. Ow! I've never felt anything like this before! <coughs> now do you see how it feels, you ugly cat? I- I had no idea that's how you felt when I kicked you. I'm sorry! I think our problem has been resolved. Yeah. My name is Bethany. <sighs> and I love to eat soap. It's so good. Mmm. Bethany, I told you not to eat soap. You're wasting all of our soap. Your dad just bought a new thing and you're still eating the soap. It's not good for your health. What are you doing? My mom is always complaining about 
about me eating soap? She says it's an addiction, but I don't think it's an addiction. I think it's a passion, really. So now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go eat my soap because I'm quite hungry. My daughter Bethany eats nothing but soap. We literally have no soap in the house. Every time me and my kids want to take a shower, there's no soap. We can't wash our hands. There's no soap. Because stupid Bethany eats it and drinks it all the time. Yeah, drinks it. She likes eating the liquid kind too. Well, yeah, of course I drink liquid soap. What am I supposed to wash down the hard soap with? Duh. This is Bethany's brother going to wash his hands. Bethany tells him no, but he still wants to wash his hands. What are you doing, Max? That's my soap. Oh my god. We want to wash our hands. What's your problem? We're filthy. Me and Patrice are filthy. Patrice, get over here. Yeah, we're dirty. We're dirty, Bethany. Let us wash our hands with soap. What? Don't you understand? I eat that soap. I use it to survive. You're a sick sicko. Who eats soap? Eat pizza or something. <laughs> if you don't get out the bathroom in three seconds, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Bethany's family hasn't used soap in about 938 weeks. That's more than six years. That's more than the average lifespan of a dog. Once, when I was younger, I said a bad word. Then my mom washed my mouth with soap, and I fell in love with it ever since. My mother, really. I hate my sister Bethany. I have lice because of her. We all have lice because we can't wash ourselves. Bethany's sister attempts to clean herself with just a brush and no soap. It's like, what can you do, really? Bethany believes that staying in the bathroom at all times and sleeping in the bathtub is the ultimate way to stay close to her soap. My daughter is crazy. The only reason I don't do nothing is because I'm scared of her. I always buy soap, but her hungry self always eating that stuff. My dumb family can't do anything. I'm going to keep eating soap because that's how I live. I've survived on soap for over five years, and I'm going to keep doing it, and I don't intend to stop. eats five pounds of soap a day. That's more than three billion pounds of soap a year. That's more than the Earth's mass. Now that Belinda eats soap all the time, I can't have any friends over because whenever they want to use the bathroom, how the heck do they wash their hands? <laughs> time to wash my hands. Let me use the soap real quick. You will not be using any soap. Ooh, that hurt! What's your deal? Uh, I just wanted to wash my hands. Get out right now. It's my soap. Get out. Get out! Get out! Ah! The freak! The word soap has four letters. My siblings, dumb friends, think they can steal my soap away from me. Well, they've got another thing coming. Bethany's soap has fallen in the toilet, but that didn't stop her. This has to stop. I don't care if my parents are scared of her. I'm gonna hide all the soap. How is she gonna eat it then? Little did Patrice know, Bethany was listening. Patrice is sneaking to the bathroom and stealing the soap. Bethany is watching. Give me back my soap. Uh, ah! We've all decided that we're going to leave this house. Yeah, I've had enough of my daughter, honestly, and if she wants to eat soap, she can stay here and do it alone. Yeah, she scared the crap out of me. Oh my god. We're never coming back. Wait, where are you guys going? We've had enough of you. 
Bethany. But, but, you're my family. And plus, who's gonna buy me soap? The only reason you want us to stay is so that we can buy you soap. Not a chance. Whatever, I'll just survive with what I have. Oh my god, there's no soap left. How am I supposed to get soap? I don't have any money. I don't even have a car to go to the store. How will I survive? No! Bethany spent her last days laying in the bathtub, thinking about soap. Hi, my name is Brenda, and I'm obsessed with Melanie Martinez. Just take a look at my room. I've seen you found my Melanie Martinez signed albums. I have plenty more in my attic. I have about 6,000 albums, but these are just my signed copies. Yeah. There are absolutely no words to describe how amazing Melanie Martinez is. She's like the best person I've ever seen. She's so pretty and gorgeous and beautiful. Oh my gosh, I would vote for her for president. Melanie Martinez, 2016, 17, 18, 19, all of the years. Like, she should just rule the entire world, in my opinion. Go, Melanie! Yeah! Brenda thinks she'll never be as pretty as Melanie Martinez, so she posts her face in mirrors all around the house. Gosh, I'm so pretty. I just love looking like Melanie Martinez. Over the years, I've tried lying to myself and saying, huh, it's just a phase, she'll get over it, but no, no, it's been like... 10 years and she loves Melanie Martinez. I'm getting tired of going to every mirror and seeing Melanie Martinez's face. Like, I want to see my own face. Brenda! What, Mom? I'm just trying to look at my beautiful features. Gosh! Brenda, this is getting out of hand. You need to stop this. Why are you so obsessed? You want to know why, Mom? Because I'm a cry baby. Cry. Did you just say a bad word, young lady? Whoops. Guess I better wash my mouth out with soap. God help me, I can't deal with this. I'm just gonna walk away. When you walk away, it's when we really play. You don't hear me when I say, Mom! What? Please wake up. With them. My daughter has no friends anymore because every time they talk to her, she brings up Melanie Martinez somehow. Either she sings song lyrics or she just talks about her nonstop. Brenda listens to the entire Melanie Martinez album every day on repeat for 10 hours straight. Like, I understand being addicted to like soap or like kicking frogs or something, but like being addicted to Melanie Martinez, that's crazy. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. My mom likes to say that I just recently started like Melanie Martinez, but I've loved Melanie Martinez ever since I was a fetus. When I was first born, I didn't cry like a normal child. I cried to the tune of Melanie Martinez's songs. Oh, honey, don't cry. <laughs> Brenda says the words crybaby 600,000 times a day. That's more than one million times a year. That's more hairs than Melanie Martinez has on her head. Huh? I've never seen a baby cry like that before. Aw, oh, honey, you must be going through a phase. Since I want Brenda to have a normal life, I invited some kids over to come play with her. Of course, I didn't mention her addiction to Melanie Martinez. But I, I just told them she was a nice, sweet girl. And hopefully this will go well. The friends are Brenda is jamming to some Melanie Martinez songs. Ah! Oh my god, who is ringing the door? I'm trying to enjoy Melanie Martinez! Ah! Mom, can you open the door and see who it is? Gosh, disturbing me in my music. Okay, honey, I'm going to open the door now. Okay, it's not like it's for me. 
Um, who are you guys? Are you Brenda? Yeah. Your mom invited us over. Mom! Who are these people that just walked in? Honey, they're your new friends. I invited them to play with you. But my friends don't walk, they run. Huh? I don't know, bad. Whatever, you guys could be my friends. Yay, I have new friends. Woo, let's play. So I guess my mom wants me to have friends or whatever, which I'm totally cool with. I can't wait to dress them up like Melanie Martinez. Woo. Melanie Martinez is a girl. Brenda has dressed up her new friends, like dolls, to look like Melanie Martinez. Oh my gosh, you guys look so good. You guys just look just like Melanie Martinez. One second, I have like something to get. Wait, please come back. Oh my god, what? Could we, like, do something else, please? Okay, fine. Let's play a game. Yay, what are we playing? Yeah, yeah, I wanna know. We're gonna play tag. Oh my gosh, Brenda, we already played that, like, 20 times. Can we play something else? You play what I tell you to play. Now, tag, you're it. Tag, tag, you're it. Dude, let's just make a run for it. Good idea, let's go. What? I heard what you were saying. You stay here, or else you don't know what will happen to you. Uh, we're running away because we're playing tag, remember? Yeah, yeah, what he said. We definitely don't want to run away. We just want to play tag. <laughs> That's more like it now. Tag, you're it. Brenda buys about 500 Melanie Martinez posters every day. That's more than one million dollars. That's more than the average college tuition. My birthday is party is today and I totally forgot that I have two new friends. So now I have to uninvite them to my birthday so that I can have a pity party. It's Brenda's birthday and she's set up and is ready to go. She even wore her $1,000 Melanie Martinez outfit along with her Melanie Martinez wig. I wrote all of these invitations. I hope nobody comes. Happy birthday, Brenda. We got you a gift. Oh my gosh, why are you guys here? You're ruining everything! I'm supposed to have a pity party! No one is supposed to be here. Get out! But we got you a gift. Take your stupid gift with you and leave! Bitter invitations disappear while you put your heart on every cursive letter. I appreciate the Melanie Martinez and all, but get out! Okay, good. Let me restart now. <clears throat> it's my birthday. Where are all my friends? Maybe it's a cruel joke on me. Whatever. Whatever. Just means there's way more cake for me. Forever. Forever. It's my party and I cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. I cry. What are you doing here, Mom? Oh, honey, I thought you could use some company since none of your friends came. Mom, I don't want your company. You always ruin everything. Get out! <gasps> you dropped the cake! Oh, my God, Mom, there's fire everywhere! Oh, no, let me put out the candle! No, Mom, stop. Don't put it out. It's perfect. It's like the Melanie Martinez music video. I can't control the fire. Follow me, honey. I'm not leaving. I cry until the candles burn out this place. I'm crying till my pity party's in flames. It's my party and I cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. Cry, cry. Brenda's entire house lit on fire. However, she survived. All of her posters and CDs got destroyed. But she bought new ones with her mom's credit card. She'll be returning for part two. Now that I've survived my pity party house fire, I'm even more obsessed with Melanie Martinez. After the accident, Brenda's addiction has gotten worse. She continues dancing to Melanie Martinez even though her leg is broken. Ow. 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 I can't believe my daughter would go to the extent of causing a fire. And after that, I thought it would teach her a lesson, but guess not! Brenda, honey, I need you for something. Mom, didn't I tell you I changed my name to Melanie Martinez? Stop calling me that atrocious name. Who even is Brenda? I'm Melanie Martinez. My daughter is slowly becoming crazy. So what if I'm crazy the best people are? 
All the best people are crazy. <laughs> Brenda is losing 2% of her brain every second. That's more than 130% of her brain a year. She's going insane. After the accident, Brenda couldn't go to school anymore. It's Melanie! Stop talking. Go back to being frozen. She couldn't go to school anymore, so her mom had to homeschool her. Apparently, that's not going so well. Melanie, why are you making this so hard? I'm trying to teach you. Just write down what I told you to write. Mom, stop trying to teach me. I know my A, B, C, but you keep teaching me. I say screw your degree, Alphabet Boy. Brenda, stop calling me Alphabet Boy. My name is Linda. Alphabet Boy, Alphabet Boy, Alphabet Boy. Stop it! Oh. They call you Cry Baby, Cry Baby. Alphabet Boy, Alphabet Boy, huh? Alphabet Boy. My name is Linda. Uh -huh. Brenda teases her mom for 500 minutes a day. She does this every night and every day. Did I mention she does it every day? Since my daughter loves Melanie Martinez, I decided I love Kim Kardashian and I want to look more like her. So what better way than just to have a bigger butt? Boing, boing, boing. Brenda's mother has recently gone butt surgery and now she has a bigger buttocks. Brenda, honey, I have a surprise. What mother? Look. <gasps> you got butt surgery? Yep. How? I wasted all your money. How did you afford this surgery? Do you think you'll feel better? Even if your butt don't stay big forever. Big forever. Big forever. You are bullying your mother. I deserve more respect than this. I'm getting tired of you and your stupid Melanie Martinez and your dumb albums. You know what? I'm gonna break it. Oh my god, you better not. Too late. Oh my god, what are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. There. Now you can move on. You deserve that. You don't know what you've done. Ah! I hate you so much that you made me ruin my life. I don't like you. Stop worrying. You're ripping everything. We can sell them on eBay at least. Stop it. Never. I'm never gonna stop. I haven't even liked Melanie Martinez anymore. Ah! Melanie Martinez has two eyebrows. My name is Bella, and I'm addicted to farting. Oh my god, did you just fart? Ew, you do this all the time. <laughs> it smells like egg salad. <laughs> I mean, I just think it smells so great. Like, my farts smell awesome. It smells like heaven. I don't even want to go to Bella's house anymore because she just farts so much. It just smells so bad. Oh my god, did you just fart? <laughs> it smells like egg salad. Bella farts about 3,500 times a day. That's more than 1,600,000 times a year. That's bigger than the size of Texas and Indonesia combined. Bella just farts so much a day. Like, when it was her graduation, we brought her flowers. She threw them out and instead took out her jar of farts and just sprayed it out. And everyone just had to leave. Well, yeah, I farted instead of getting flowers. I hate flowers. They smell too sweet. My fart has the perfect amount of sweet, salty, and vinegary at the same time. <sighs> I just farted right now. Can you smell it? Mmm. Bella's mother is happily seated watching her favorite television show when Bella comes along. <laughs> oh my goodness, Bella, did you just fart? Ow! Come back here, you little stinker. <laughs> Come here, you little stinker! Studies have shown that Bella's fart smells worse than 30,000 gym socks. Studies have also shown that Bella's fart smells worse than 50,000 onions. Whoa! 
Bella has snuck into someone's home and is farting on their food. <laughs> I'd like to see them eat it now. Oh, yummy. My mom made me this cake. The poor boy had to be hospitalized. I farm people whenever I can because I just want them to smell it. I need them to smell my delicious scents. <sighs> Did you smell it? This cute little innocent mouse is happily doing her homework in the park. When all of a sudden... <laughs> ah! What the frick? Ew! <laughs> yes, everyone left. Now I can fart in peace. Everyone has left the park because all Bella does in it is fart. 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 I'm honestly getting tired of Bella farting, so I decided to trap her in the bathroom so she can smell what her fart really smells like and how she makes us feel. My mom thinks she can get me to stop farting if she puts me inside a bathroom. Ha! Not a chance. Oh, love the smell. Mmm! Bella's name has four letters in it. The word fart has four letters in it. Coincidence? I think not. Bella has been in the bathroom for 12 hours. <laughs> Mom, is that you? Yes. Honey, are you done farting now? Mom, I mean, I do know what you feel now because it is starting to smell a little weird, but I still love the smell. Well, I'm going to spray a little bit of air freshener because it really stinks. Okay, sweetheart? Whatever, mother. Spray it, but I'm still gonna fart. Alright, it should smell better in no time. I don't want it to smell better. I love the smell of farts. <laughs> Yummy. Two hours later. The smell of the sweet air freshener mixed with Bella's stinky fart has created a poisonous gas that suffocated and killed her. I wanna be the very best, no one ever was. Hey everyone, I'm Bash. <coughs> And I'm addicted to Pokemon. Pokemon is my life. I play it every single day on my game console. I've decorated my house with it. It's the best thing that's ever happened. Gotta catch them all. Come on, Pokemon, come here. I've played every Pokemon game there is, and I've beat every single one of them. I have gotten them all. They really need to make more Pokemon. I've already caught them all. Catching them all in the games did not satisfy me, so I've decided to catch them all in real life. Bash knows that real Pokemon do not exist, but that didn't stop him. He still wanted to collect real life Pokemon. I mean, every little boy is addicted to Pokemon one time or another, so I didn't think it was a big deal. But it's been getting pretty weird lately. Look at our house. Just look at it. It's all Pokemon everywhere. And it's not just this room. It's the whole house. Also, he's been coming late at night with this wagon. I don't know what he's getting. Maybe Pokemon cards? But I don't know. It just it just seems fishy. I've collected all the Pokemon training cards as well. And being an LPS, the real ones are hard, hard to come by. But hey, I've got them all. On top of regular Pokemon cards, Bash has collected Pokemon EX cards. And these cost about $5,000 each. He is very proud of them. Bash just spends a ridiculous amount of money on Pokemon cards. I mean, like, what do you need them for? Like, look at his whole floor. It's all Pokemon cards. And he also wastes all of his money on Pokemon games. I'm getting pretty worried about him. Bash, dear? Yeah, Mom? I need you to come help me with something, sweetheart. Help you with something? Unless it requires me catching Pokemon, then I don't think so. I'm a Pokemon master, and I can't be doing simple things such as chores. Puh. But you never help me. I don't care if I don't help you. I'm trying to catch Pokemon. I'm going to throw this Pokeball at you if you don't get out of here. Go, 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 go. Cut right, you. 
Bash spends 23 hours a day playing Pokemon games. He spends the other hour catching real Pokemon. Real Pokemon do not exist. Ever since I was a young kid, I've always wanted a way to catch real Pokemon. Well, now I have a great way to actually catch real Pokemon. <laughs> it's wonderful. Mom, I'm going out. Where are you going, Bash? I'm going to catch Pokemon. Duh. I do this every day. How many times do I have to repeat it? What do you mean, catch real Pokemon? They don't exist. Real Pokemon do exist. I can't believe you just said that. You just disrespected my whole existence. Ugh! He goes out every day and comes back when I'm sleeping, so I don't see what he comes back with. But today, I'm going to stay up late and see what he actually catches. Because real Pokemons don't exist. Bash is still out catching real Pokemon. Instead of the usual going to bed, Bash's mother has hidden behind his skateboard to see what he will come and get. Let me go! I'm not a real Pokemon! Yes, you are. Shut up, Mankey. What do you mean? What's a real Mankey? Don't play with dumb with me, Pokemon. I have your card right here. See? You're right here. Actually, I can't see because you take me on this stupid wheelbarrow! If you don't shut your mouth, I'll trap you in my Pokeball. Look at Crazy Creep. I'm not a real Pokemon. I'm just a monkey, not a man key. If all Pokemon admitted they were Pokemon, then we would never catch them all. But now I'm going to put you in a Pokeball since you keep talking. This is an empty Pokemon ball. Now watch me. Watch me throw it on you. And you'll be trapped inside of this Pokeball forever until I choose you. Wow, you're really crazy. Oh my god. Here it is. Ow, you hit that on my head. Huh? Why aren't you in it? Mankeys are weak Pokemon. You should have easily been trapped inside the Pokeball. Hmm, well, I don't know. Maybe because I'm not a real Pokemon and they don't really exist. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Mankey. I'll just add you to my collection downstairs. Mom, you scared the Pokeballs out of me. I thought you were sleeping. Busted. I saw how you trapped that poor, poor monkey. Mom, he's a real Pokemon. He's the Mankey Pokemon. I would have told you, but you wouldn't understand. Understand what? Pokemon don't exist, and that's a monkey, not a Mankey. Whatever, Mom. You know nothing about Pokemon anyway. What do you mean? You just trapped a poor, poor, innocent monkey. I'm gonna go free him from your little room. No, you can't go in there. It's my room. It's my stuff. It's my privacy. Well, what do you have in there? Uh... Well, I just have Pokemon down there, okay? Real Pokemon. You'll never understand, because I'm the true Pokemon Master. You have trapped other Littlest Pet Shops down there? They're Pokemon for the hundredth time! Gosh, see, I told you you'd never understand. Huh, well, anyways, you can try to get into that room, but you can't because I locked it. So now, good night. See you tomorrow, Mother. Ugh, oh, snap, it's really locked. Bash, come back here! Mom, don't even think about coming here. I'm just gonna close the door. Bash has spent over one million dollars on Pokemon cards alone. He has spent another million dollars on Pokemon games. It's a beautiful morning to go check on my Pokemon collection. Bash is going to enter his secret hideout. He added a stay out sign so his mother won't come in. What does he have in there? Hello, my little Pokemon. Let us go, you creep! I can't even move! Shut up, Magikarp. You're one of the most useless Pokemon, but you're lucky you're my favorite one. After Pikachu, of course. Bash's favorite Pokemon are Pikachu, Raticate, Magikarp, Meowth, Buneary, and Mankey. He's collected them all, except Pikachu. Let us go! Let us go! We're not real Pokemon! Yeah, we're just little pet shops! Silence, Pokemon. You don't talk unless your master orders you to, which I don't. These Pokemon are great and all, but I really want Pikachu. He's my favorite one. I just, I won't stop until I find him. I need him in my collection. I've collected the rarest Pikachu cards, and I'm just so obsessed with him, I need him in my life. I mean, what's a real Pokemon master without a Pikachu? Please let us go. Our family's a rarity, I badass. Shut up, Radicate. You don't have a family. You're a Pokemon. 
Oh my god, we're starving. Stop. Let us go. Pokemon don't eat actual food. You just need energy, and I already have energy cards. Instead of feeding them real food, Bash just throws energy cards at them, hoping they'll stay alive. Energy for you. Energy for you. Energy for you. Energy for you. There we go. Out of starvation, the LPS have started eating the actual paper to stay alive. Well, alright, see you guys later. No! Now we'll never get out of here. I'll never get out of here. Bash has forgotten to lock the door. I'm done. I'm gonna figure out what he's doing and put an end to it. Pikachu is yellow. Bash's mother has noticed that he forgot to lock the door. Stop right there, Mom! I figured it all out. What? I figured out why you don't want me to catch Pokemon. Is that so? Well, enlighten me. Why? It's quite simple, really. I don't know how I didn't see it before. You are a Pokemon! What? He's officially lost it. Bash's mom is baffled at this accusation. What? Are you hearing yourself right now, Bash? This is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, you Pokemon, don't act dumb with me. You're Arcanine. What's an Arcanine? My name is Susan. Oh, really? Well, in that case... Does this look familiar to you? Darn it. You caught me. I knew it all along. Just kidding, you stupid kid. Do you honestly, honestly think I'm a Pokemon? Those things don't even exist. I'm your mother. For God's sake, Bash. Oh, shut up, Arcanine. You wanted to fit into the human world, or should I say LPS world, so you adopted me and made me your kid. Ha, can you explain where my dad is? That's right, because I don't have a dad. Because your father died. Enough with the lies. You're my greatest catch of all. Besides Pikachu, of course, which I didn't catch, but I will later. But I'm gonna catch you with my Pokeball now. Darn it. Oh, I guess that little Pokeball didn't work, because I'm not an actual Pokemon, and you're grounded, young man. <laughs> guess I have to catch you a different way. Heads up! Bash's mother is knocked unconscious. I'm slowly getting closer to catching them all. I just need Pikachu, and I'll be the best Pokemon master ever! <laughs> Bash has trapped his mother with the other quote-unquote Pokemon. Will he catch Pikachu? Find out in part two. Pikachu! Pikachu! Since there was no room for my mother, or should I say Arcanine, on the floor, I just taped her to a wall. <laughs> Bash has taped his mother's mouth shut. I'm getting super tired of these Pokemon, except Arcanine, of course, because I just caught her. But I really need Pikachu, man. All of the little pet shops are starving. Bash's Pokemon have gone about 23 days without food. The average littlest pet shop can last about 6 days without food. They're still alive. Until I catch Pikachu, I need these Pokemon to evolve. All Pokemon evolve, I just don't know why these aren't evolving. Guess I'll have to force them to. Evolve, Magikarp! You know the only reason I got you is so you could evolve. You stink as a Pokemon, but you have, like, the best evolution. So evolve, evolve, evolve! Uh, this LPS is too weak to scream in pain. You better evolve, Magikarp, when I come back. Now, Mankey, why aren't you evolving, you creep? Evolve, evolve, evolve! You have a cool evolution, too! Why aren't you evolving? I don't understand it! Ah! Maybe because we're not their Pokemon. Shut up, Raticate! You're already evolved from Rattata. I'm proud of you for being evolved, but shut your mouth! Oh. Aw, oh, Baneri, you're the cutest Pokemon ever. But you need to evolve too! Evolve, 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 Hey, don't take this wrong. I'm not an abuser. I just think that maybe hurting them will make them angry and make them evolve. I'm just being a good Pokemon master. This is LPS abuse. Ugh, Meowth, when will you ever, ever turn into Persian? And no, this is not whatever LPS abuse. First of all, you're a Pokemon. Second of all, I'm just being a good Pokemon master. Now evolve! Oh yeah, one more thing. Evolve! 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 Evolve!
Bash spends 15 hours a day looking for Pikachu. That's more than 3,562 hours a year. That's more Pokemon than there is in the world. I'm Bash's mailman, and today I was there to deliver his mail, and he didn't recognize me. He thought I was a Pokemon. Can you believe such a thing? Ugh, who is it? Who is it? It's me, the mailman. Alright, I'm opening the door. Here's a package for you. Huh? You're not the mailman. You oh, right, the mailman. Come on in. Oh, okay. <laughs> I left your package outside, if you don't mind. <laughs> no problem. One sec. Aw, well, what have you got there, kiddo? Ah, what to do that for, kid? Oh, why are these Pokeballs working? Pokeballs? I ain't no Pokemon. I'm out of here. No, come back. Oh, I can't believe I let Froggy get away. Whatever. The real goal here is Pikachu, and I need to catch him. While Bash is playing the Pokemon game, he gets an idea. Since Pikachu is in the game, I can throw the Pokeball at him, and he'll come to life. What a stupid idea. Shut up, narrator. Here goes nothing. This better work. I think it's working. Pikachu! Oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever! <gasps> if you'll excuse me a second, Pikachu. Pika Pika! Time to catch you, Pikachu. Pika! Oh, I gotta try this again. I'm not gonna stop till I catch Pikachu. Pika! Shut up, Pikachu. I have to try again. I wanna be the best. Pikachu is getting angry at Bash. Oh, I gotta do it again. I know it'll work this time. Pika! Pika, 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 pika! Shut up, Pikachu. Pikachu has had enough. Pika! Pika. Pikachu is back happily in his game. Can't say the same for Bash. Bash's trapped Pokemon have escaped by eating a potato. They found his dead body. Guess he couldn't catch them all. Yummy! My name is Becky, mm, and I'm addicted to eating cake. I just love cake. It's so good, sweet, scrumptious, delicious, fluffy, yummy. The frosting on it is essential. Ah, love it! Becky is in her room eating cake all day. She ignored her doctor's order to only eat one slice a day. I love any kind of cake. Chocolate, vanilla, red velvet, strawberry, lime, any kind. I just love all cake. Yummy! I've tried to get Becky to stop eating cake, but she won't listen to me. All she does is eat cake all the time. I'm like, go out and talk to people. She's like, she yells at me. Becky, why are you in your room eating cake? Didn't I tell you to go outside and talk to people and make friends? Mother, I have a friend. Her name is Midge. And leave me alone. I'm eating cake. Gosh. All of this cake is not good for you. It's bad for your health. Didn't you hear what the doctor said? I don't care what the doctor said, okay? I'm going to eat cake. It makes me happy. It makes me... Happy! Okay, leave me alone! God, I was bursting my bubble! Little girl, who are you talking to? You better stop eating that cake. You're about to get diabetes, you idiot! Fine, mother. I'll save one slice for you if you really want it. <laughs> ah! You rude girl! How dare you throw that cake on my face! Becky usually has a lot of attitude, but never this much. She only gets an attitude like this when I interfere with her cake. Yeah, so you like that slice? If you don't, Oh well, get out of my face for another throw another cake at your face. Becky, I, ca I can't believe this. What's wrong with you? Cake is turning you into a monster. I don't care. Now get out! Uh! The cake itself is not making me a monster. The fact that they want to take it away from me is making me a monster. Can't they just leave me be? God. I can't believe you would go this far. 
just for cake. To disrespect your mother this far. For cake. Well, believe it, because it happened, and it's true. I, I don't understand. You're usually very respectful. Oh, you win. I don't care. A monster. Lately, Becky has been staying in her room 24 hours a day, only eating cake. I love Becky. She's cool sometimes and all, but I don't know. This cake is making her act really strange for some reason. Todd is going to Becky's room to check on her. Hey Becky, it's me Todd. <laughs> I know you just screamed at your mother, but I thought I'd talk to you since you never scream at me since you love me. Uh, hey Todd, wanna join me eat some cake? How about it? Uh, that's the problem I want to talk about. So your doctor just called us and he said that you're starting to develop type 1 diabetes from all this cake. So, I think it'd be best if you decrease the amount of cake you eat. Boy, not you too. Don't tell me what to do. I want to eat cake if I want to eat cake. Hmm. If you don't get out, I'm going to throw this cake at you. Huh, Becky, you're screaming at me? What? You never scream at me. Todd is very surprised that Becky screamed at him. She never screams at him. Something must be wrong. Ugh, telling me what to do? Here, you get a cake too then. Hmm. Ugh, Becky, how could you? Becky loves cake, but she would never put it over her friends and family. So I did some research, and it turns out the cake I bought makes the person who's eating it a Addicted, like literally addicted. It's like a drug. Becky's mother has arrived with normal cake to give to Becky. Normal, non-addictive cake. Becky dear, I got some cake for you. Bring that cake over and lay it right here, mother, right here. Okay, but promise me to eat it in moderation, okay? Um, what are you guys doing here? Stop this video right now. Midge, what are you doing? We're in the middle of filming an addicted video. What am I doing? What are you doing? You guys are filming an addicted video? What the heck? Do you know what happens in it? Midge, I told her to film this video because she's giving me some big bucks for this. Are big bucks worth enough for you to die? Midge, sweetie, what are you talking about? Becky's not gonna die. Alina, did you tell them what happens to anyone who does, um, addicted videos? Um, yeah, it was in their contract. I gave them the addicted contract. I didn't read that thing. I didn't read that long 10-page contract. Becky, when anyone does an addicted video, they die at the end. And it's for a reason that Alina won't tell anyone why. <gasps> Alina, you were going to have me die on set? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> I thought you knew. Alina, obviously she's not going to read the contract. But if Becky died, what was going to happen to Midge and Becky? Oh, I was just going to cancel it. Oh, so screw me, right? Screw me. I would have no show to do. I couldn't be able to support my sisters and my mom and my family, right? Screw me. Oh, heck no. Alina, you were going to cancel Midge and Becky, so I would be dead and I wouldn't be able to support Furball. So cruel. Guys, guys, it's just a big misunderstanding. I'm sure we can all talk it out. Now, Midge, can you please move so we can finish the video? Screw your stinking video. You know what? and holding on your poop. Hi guys, my name is Beatrice and I'm addicted to Miranda. I'm about to break it down! So I watch um, Miranda on YouTube and I love her so much, oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna be a singer just like her one day. Oh my god, Beatrice, would you shut up? I'm trying to go to sleep. Hey, no, bank. Oh, I hate my sister. She's always judging me. <laughs> oh my god, honestly, Beatrice is so dumb. She thinks Miranda is a real person and that she's not played by Colleen, like the character. Like, she's Miranda's a character. Like, Beatrice can't understand that. Oh my gosh, Lily, I'm such a hater. Miranda is real. She's not a character. Who is this Colleen persona? Huh. I'm Beatrice's father and. All, all Beatrice does is watch Miranda videos. She's watched every single one of them five times. I don't know, she doesn't get tired of them or something. It, it's, it's insane. Beatrice's family is enjoying their dinner at the dinner table. Whereas Beatrice is just watching Miranda. Beatrice, for God's sakes, come over here and eat your dinner. Yeah, Beatrice, just come eat. We're not even a family anymore. Oh my God, you keep watching that fake character. She's not even real. Daddy, tell her. You guys are so annoying. Would you shut up before I start singing? Do you want that to happen? Hmm? 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 Uh, no, no, don't sing. We don't want you to sing. Our neighbors already called the cops like five times on us. Chill out, Beatrice. Well, too late. <laughs> oh my god, oh. stop it! Oh. 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 Hey, where my bangs like? Where my bangs, like, like. Where my bangs, like.
has watched all 550 Miranda Sings videos, 995 times each. That's more than 3,000 videos a second. That's more than 35 million videos a year. Now I am a simple man. I only have this one house. We poop here, we eat here, we sleep here, just in this little small space. But nope, that doesn't stop Beatrice. She still wants to decorate the entire place with Miranda Sings posters. That is insane to me. Beatrice does not have a lot of money, but that didn't stop her from buying many Miranda Sings posters. She saves up every dime she has and uses her dad's money. Honestly, I'm so tired of my sister. I can't wait to like get a job and get out of here because it's so annoying. She wastes all my dad's money, so I can't even buy my own clothes because I don't even have a job yet. So my dad doesn't even have money to give me because she wasted it all in freaking expensive Miranda Sings posters. It's not even that big of a deal, to be honest. I love my posters. My sister should not be talking. She's so annoying. She's wearing this bra that shows off her chesticles. So inappropriate. Beatrice has had enough of her sister wearing a bra in the house. Um, do you mind here? I'm trying to pee. Hello. Take it off now. Take it off. What are you talking about, Beatrice? Um, hello, your bra. It's too much chesticles sticking out. Take it off. It's disgusting. I don't want to see it. It's like a hundred degrees out. What do you want me to wear? That thick scarf that you wear? You're always sweating because you're so hot from it. Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? I want to sweat. I want to sweat. It's better than being inappropriate and have my chesticles sticking out. It's disgusting. Dad, come get the saint. She won't leave me alone. Beatrice's father makes $1,000 a year. Beatrice uses 900 of those dollars to buy Miranda Sings posters and red lipstick. What's the fuss here? Your daughter is showing too much skin. That's what's happening. Beatrice, didn't I tell you not to judge your sister on what she's wearing? Leave her alone. But that's besides the point. I just found a receipt for $500 worth of red lipstick. Which one of you did that? Hmm, let's address this. Who ever wears lipstick in this house? The amount of lipstick that she bought? That's literally half of my income. Okay, and my lips are luscious. They need to be having red lipstick all the time. I have to look cute for all of my veins. Well, your luscious lips can go somewhere else because I need money to feed you too. How about you get a job? Useless. Can't argue with that one, Dad. But, but I didn't even go to high school. <laughs> my dad and my sister are my biggest haters. Like, haters back off. Beatrice wears about 998 layers of lipstick. That's more than five tubes of lipstick. That's more layers than hashtag Polish Mountain. What I understand is that Beatrice always talks about her uncle or something. I think Miranda talks about her uncle. She's trying to be like Miranda, but she doesn't even have an uncle. Like she always talks about him for what? Stop telling the viewers that I have no uncle. I don't have an uncle. Girls, we have to get out of this house. I was just called and said that I couldn't support this house anymore because I don't make enough money. And because Beatrice wasted all of my money on the lipstick. What? Is he kidding? I don't buy that much lipstick. Beatrice bought a friggin' laptop. And I think she used my dad's money. There's a laptop right there. You can see it right there. And she has no money to buy it, so I think she used my dad's money. And now he's in debt, and now we have to get out of the house. Beatrice's father and sister are packing their things to leave the home. They just realized that they have no things to pack. <laughs> no, I'm not leaving. I'm staying right here. Why do you even bring them? They wanna be just like me. Beatrice, come on! The police are gonna come here and demolish the house! No way, Father. I'm staying here. All of my posters are here, and my laptop, and my bays are coming. I invited them. What bays? Screw your bays! Come on, or you'll die in this house! Despite her dad's warning of the construction workers destroying the house, Beatrice chose to stay because she invited her bays. Will she make it? Find out in part two. I got so many bays. 
my dad and sister are scared of kids. They left the house, but I don't care. I'm staying here because I invited my bays online and they're coming here. I want to have a blast. Beatrice has invited her bays from an online dating site. They will be arriving soon. I made the entire house beautiful. I made some meats for the men when they come over. We're going to have a blast. I put music so we can sing. Hey, where are my bays? Like where are my bays? Oh, the bell. Tyler Oakley, you're here. Come on in. Hey girl, what's up? But my name is not Tyler Oakley. Shut up. Yes, you are. You look just like him. Your hair is fabulous. So, what are we doing? I don't know why this girl thinks I'm Tyler Oakley. Honestly, she just met me on a dating site. They don't know this, but I'm finding all of Miranda Singh's bays and I'm making them my bays. Because I want to be Miranda. I'm even changing my name to Miranda. <laughs> We're gonna eat some meat and you're never gonna leave. We're gonna stay here forever, okay? Because you're my bae. Forever? What do you mean? Oh, here comes the other bae. Come on in, Joey Graciefinus. Uh, I don't know who she means by the Joey Graciefinus. I'm not Joey. Oh, Joey Graciefinus, then. Yes, you are my bae. Oh, goody. My other bae is here. Dude, uh, Joey, or whatever your name is. What is this? My name is not Joey, and I don't know, I just met this girl on a dating site. I guess she has other bays. Come on in, Ricky Dillon. What? My name is not Ricky Dillon, and why are there so many Miranda Sings posters? Oh, you know Miranda Sings? Goons, well, you're my new bae now. What? You don't even sound like Miranda Sings, you creep. You're such a Miranda Sings wannabe, not even a good one. Oh, you're trying to make Miranda Sings? Well, guess what? I'm not Tyler, he's not Joey, he's not Ricky. And you're not Miranda, so get over yourself. We're leaving, and you're weird. What you mean? I love Miranda. I'm gonna be her one day. And no, you can't leave because I bolted the door. Joke's on you, haha. Huh? She definitely locked the door. Yeah, just open the door, you creep. Never. I will never open that door. You guys are gonna be here with me forever. Hey, where are my bangs at? Where my bangs at? Hey, where are my bangs at? Where are my bangs at? Hey. Miranda Sings has red lips. This girl is insane. She wants us to stay here. She trapped us here, locked the door. She wants to feed us raw meat. And she's playing this horrible music. Okay, bangs, let's eat our meat. Um, this meat isn't even cooked. Gross! You're feeding us raw meat? This is crazy. Raw meat is better. That way I didn't hurt the meat by burning it. We've been here for hours. We're, we're starving. Let us eat. No, eat this meat right now. Eat it. Miranda's bays have no choice but to eat the raw meat. They've been without food for too long. <coughs> One down, two to go. <laughs> yes. What the heck happened to him? What's in this? Oh, nothing is wrong with him. He's just taking a little nap because the meat is so good. Yum. I'm starving. I can't take this. I'm just going to eat it. <laughs> you know what? I don't even need to eat this disgusting raw meat. I'm just going to drink some water and I'll be good. I have no choice. I wouldn't go too far into that toilet. I just ate some Taco Bell and I pooped in there. Beatrice eats about 5 pounds of raw meat a day. That's more than 30,000 pounds of raw meat a year. That's more meat than a small dinosaur would eat. So my bees finally woke up and I put them in their bands. But before I can marry all of them, I want them to sing really good ones like me. <laughs> Beatrice has glued down all of her bays to these three beds so that they won't move and so that she can teach them how to sing. Before I give you guys my singing lessons, I want to hear a sample of your voice. So one at a time, show me how you sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. 
How I wondered what you were. Alright, shut up. <laughs> Next. <coughs> Can't really talk with this crap in my mouth. <coughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what. Ew, shut up. Ew. Alright, Tyler. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Ew, that was disgusting. <coughs> Ew, Al, that really hurt. What was wrong with what he sang? In my opinion, we all sang really hot. We should totally start a boy band. Oh, it's quite cute to see that you guys think you sing good, but you don't. It's okay, my little beans. I'll teach you how to sing like a professional. I'm gonna teach you so hard and so good. And before we get started on the singing lessons, many of y'all might know that I am a woman of many talents. I'm a magician, an actor, a cooker, everything else. I have so much talents, I can't even think of them. I'm an artist. I'm a sleeper. So many good practical talents. Uh, is it even possible to be all of those things at once? Yes, yes, it quite is, because I am Miranda. Wait, I thought your name was Beatrice. How dare you call me that despicable name! My name is Miranda! Oh, uh, okay, okay, Miranda, okay. Do what you will, just start with your singing lessons. We just want to get out of here. You will not be getting out of here, but I will start. Step one, open your mouth and go... Ew, that was disgusting! Ew, shut up! That sounded really bad, but it's okay. I'll give you guys time to practice later. Why are you teaching us to sing anyways? Well, you guys are my bays, of course. So you guys have to be talented like me. And we're getting married today. So we all have to be singing at our wedding. Married? What? What? I, I don't want to get married. I, I, I'm not good at commitment. I sure can be committed, but not to you, you crazy Miranda psychopath. Seriously, how dare you disrespect me? I am Miranda, I'm not crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I was just, uh, kidding, ma'am. Sorry. Okay, Ricky, I'll forgive you because you're my bait. But that's all. Oh, this ain't. Now go back to your bed, sweetheart. Yep, sure thing. I'm not sorry. You are crazy. Yeah, you're a psycho. <laughs> Tyler and Joey Grisef in this book. How dare you say that? You're my bait. How dare you? Ow, don't put your hands on me, you crazy psycho. What? What happened? I, I need my glasses. I can't see anything. All right, Bings. I hope you learned your lesson from those slaps. I'm going to go get ready for my wedding. I'll see you guys in a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beatrice catfishes over 10 guys a day. That's more than 5 million guys a year. The average guy goes to the bathroom 500 times a day. Guys, what have, what have we gotten ourselves into? And, and I can't even talk with this poop in my mouth! Mmm, smells like Taco Bell. Bees, I'm here! Impressed. Shut up, are you trying to get poop faced again? Uh, no, Miranda, you look great, bae. Hey, you look totally cool and cute. Oh, thank you so much for the compliment, bae. But I must get you out of your cages so we can get some married in somewhere fancy, not this trash. Come on out, bae. Right out. Come on, my dear. Beatrice has commanded her little bays to clean out the room and make it a wedding ceremony. Yes, my bays, clean it up, clean it up. Beatrice is marrying three men at once. Some chimpanzees can juggle five bowling pins at once. Beatrice's bays are ready for the wedding. I, I, I can't believe I'm getting married. I, I'm too young for this. I have my whole life ahead of me. I can't believe she didn't let me wash up first. Sh sh shut up, guys. She's coming. Oh, my beloved babies. We are getting married on this fun day. Mm -hmm. But why is there a poop on my mouth still? You didn't let me wash it off. <sighs> there goes my bow. I don't want to marry you. Yeah. We, we don't want to get married to you. You're weird. Let us go. Huh. Uh, 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 I'm not part of this. Don't punish me. We 
are getting married whether you like it or not. Understand? Now, where is our priest? Uh, I, I can do the priest thing. Do you, Miranda Sings, take Tyler Oakley to be your lawfully wedded husband? And that would be you, my thing. Yes, yes, I do. And... No, I don't want to do it! No, screw this wedding, you psycho! I don't want to marry you, crazy Miranda Sings wannabe! This is Miranda Sings! See that poster? That's Miranda Sings! You look nothing like her! Tyler, stop it! Stop! You're ruining everything! Stop it! Is it because I didn't buy your new book? What do you mean he's mad he didn't buy your book? He doesn't have a book! He's not really Ricky Dillon! I mean, he's not really Tyler Oakley, and I'm not Ricky Dillon! Do I- I don't even have a lisp! And my name is not Joey Graceffinus Fu. What is wrong with you, babe? You're supposed to be loyal to me, we're getting married! What is this? What is this? What is this? There's construction workers outside. They're demolishing the house. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh my gosh. Miranda, or Beatrice's bays, all got out in time. However, she didn't make it. <laughs> hey, seeds the vegetables. Hello everybody, my name is Breely and I'm addicted to being vegan. <gasps> Mom, what is this? So, I've been gone now for a few months on vacation. My mummy had an awesome vegan bakery and restaurant. But now when I came back, she had things that weren't vegan. What is this? Oh, really? I didn't know you'd be back so soon. Mum, what is the meaning of this? There's cheese. You know I told you that's cow buggers and milk. Disgusting. Ew. Honey, people weren't buying my vegan foods. There's just not enough vegans in the world. Breely is now traumatized and cannot believe that her mother is serving non-vegan foods. Girl, chill out. This food is delicious. We have all sorts of cookies and such. Chill your horses. Calm down. Shut up, you stupid turtle. Are you dumb? You eating fish? Those poor fish were slaughtered. How would you like to be killed like that? Ugh. Oh, that really hurt me. What's your deal? Though. You're like a little pig. You don't look that harmful. What is your- Really? Do not hit my customers. Get out of here. Screw your stupid store, mother. You don't care about the animals. Everyone get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out of here. Get out. Remove yourself. Get out. Oh, heck no. Who you think you pushing, little girl? You know what? I'm taking this cake to go. Come on, Nara boy. I'm coming after you, Becky. Ma'am, you need to raise your daughter properly. She's really a difficult one to handle. She just kicked me in the head. That's really me. Little girl, I have some words for you. Stop kicking kids. We know you're a vegan and such. But you're hurting me, and I'm an animal. And that's disgraceful. Yo, yeah, yo, yeah, I agree with that turtle. You're, you're, you're unbelievable. Just because you care about the animals, you have to care about... Shut up! You're not even appreciating veganism! Everybody should be vegan and appreciate this beautiful thing! Wow, when they say vegans are crazy, they're not wrong! I'm out of here. I'm never coming back. Yeah, I believe it too. Miss Piggy, I'm never coming back to your store. It's horrible for me, even though the cake is bomb. And it's real cheese! How you feel, Pig? <laughs> we get it that you're vegan and you're butthurt about the stuff, but come on. Just because you're vegan doesn't mean you need to hurt people and be rude and disrespectful. Spread the message positively. Gosh, you little pig. I should eat you. Yeah, be more positive. And now, I'm gonna go have some bacon. Really? You drove away all of my customers! I'm vegan too, but you don't see me going ballistic and crazy. Just don't eat the cheese. And if you want to spread your message, tell them in a nice, positive way. I don't care, mother. They're out, aren't they? Nobody listens when you're nice to them. 
So I'm going to be rude and everything. I don't care. And I'm going to go buy some vegetables for you because I love the animals. And we'll just spread the word. I do not like hatred, even though I do hit people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, bye. <sighs> what am I going to do with my daughter? I don't care about the animals. Everyone, get out of here. Get out. Get out of here. Get out. Remove yourself. Get out. Rulu scolds about 13 meat eaters a day. That's more than 500 meat eaters a week. That's more meat than there is in the world. I know I made Breely mad by changing the store to normal and non-vegan foods, but I'm not changing it back and I'm not telling my daughter. Breely's mother is washing dishes. Mother, I got a surprise for you. I got some beautiful bananas, carrots, all these sorts of vegetables. Let us cook some vegan foods before the customers come. Honey, I am not changing the store back. I'm keeping it as a normal store, not just vegan. So what are you saying? Vegans aren't normal? Well, in my opinion, they're better than normal people, all right? I don't know why my mother doesn't understand that I'm just trying to spread the vegan message. Huh. But I think I know how to get her on my side. I'm going to make her a delicious vegan cupcake. My daughter doesn't know it yet, but I'm not vegan anymore. I'm a meat eater again. I just can't help it. It's too good. All right, Breely, I'm going to go take a nap, all right? All right, mother. Breely is headed to make her mom a delicious vegan cupcake. Ew, disgusting cheese and pepperonis. Ew, this is so nasty. Ah, this doesn't deserve to be a real thing. This is disgusting. Brulee has started making her vegan cupcake for her mother. All right, and into the oven it goes. My masterpiece cupcake is finished. My mother is going to love it, and she's going to change the store back for sure. The cupcake is ready. Brulee, honey, I woke up. Do you want to bake anything together? It smells quite strange in this kitchen. Oh, no need to bake together. I already baked you a delicious vegan cupcake. You won't have to feel guilty about eating it. There's no byproducts or fats in there. It's completely guilt-free. Oh, really? You did? Where is it? Oh, looks tasty. That honestly looks like a broccoli on a pink cup. Well, dig in then, mother. Breely's mother is going to try the cupcake. Yes, yes, eat the vegetables. Eat it, mother. Yes, eat it, mother. Um, this is uh, quite tasty. Oh, Breely, this is quite delicious, sweetheart. What did you make it with? Well, you know, just milk and eggs. Stop it, that's disgusting, but I would never do that. I put broccoli, corn, carrots, some little, you know, flavoring snoot, I mean, sugar, and more sugar. Well, whatever questionable things you put in there, it's still good. Now, let me drink some thing to wash it down. <gasps> Mother! What are you doing? What? Busted. Yes, yes, you are busted drinking milk, cow buggers, and pus. Well, honey, I can't hold it and I can't hide it any longer. I am not a vegan anymore. I think my mother had her April Fool's joke a little too early, but it was still funny. <laughs> I hope she was joking. Her mother, you're such a silly little piggy. That's probably like almond milk or soy milk. Right, 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 right. No, honey, it's sadly not almond milk or soy milk. <laughs> it's real milk. <laughs> I'm trying to calm down, mother, before I destroy this whole place. <laughs> Are you really trying to eat cow puss? Whatever it is, you're disgusting, mother! Ah! You know your friend Martha? She's a cow. How would she feel if you drank real milk? <laughs> well, I... Uh, I'm not asking for your opinion, mother. I have something to say. Now, if somebody comes into your store and eats something non-vegan, I'm gonna slap it out of their mouth and destroy the whole place. Got it? Got it. Now, I'm out here. I knew that Breely would not take this smoothly and that she would be very sad by it. But she better not ruin my store. I worked hard on it. Breely eats 500 bananas a day. That's more than 
30,000 bananas a year. That's more bananas than any chimp has ever eaten in the entire existence of the entire world. Breedley's little brother is in the store with his mother, and she is feeding him milk. All right, honey. Here, drink your cow milk. <gasps> Did I hear real cow milk? Oh, no! Why are you feeding him real cow milk? There are other options for children! How dare you push the milk out of a little baby's mouth? And cow milk is the healthiest for a little child. No, babies don't just drink from bottles. They drink from other things too. Boop. Well, I want to give them a bottle. And what do you mean, save the animals? I am an animal. Instead of my mother teaching my little baby brother how to be a vegan and help the earth and the animals, she's giving him cow milk. <sighs> I'd never thought it would come to this, ever. <laughs> well, I say no more milk. Now let me take this here and dump it in the trash. Vegans do not eat meat. It is the next day, and Breely has gotten rid of everything that is non-vegan. Ooh, our first customer! I cannot wait for the customers to taste the new vegan restaurant. They love their stuff! You know what? I've had enough of Breely going around my back and changing the, all of the food. So you see those apples right there on that table? They're not real apples. They're meat. I cooked them and I made them look exactly like apples because I'm certified chef hello and I made them look exactly like apples but they're actually me and I'm going to make Breely eat them. Hello everyone, I'm back to eat delicious food. I'll have the usual please, tuna fish. Mm. Oh I'm so sorry but it's a vegan restaurant now and only we, we all don't have that stuff. Yes, yes, indeed. Well, we have other varieties of stuff. That way you'll be eating delicious food, you'll be eating as much as you want, while still saving the planet. Oh my gosh, it's the girl that was really disrespectful and hit me in the face. Why should I listen to you, instigator? Because I'm just trying to save the planet and the animals. Duh, just trying to spread my word. That's a quite convincing argument if you ask me. You know what, I'll give it a try, but I'm not turning into no herbivore or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? And plus, I heard all vegan food was nasty and that you guys eat grass. Yuck. You know, that's not. I don't understand why people say vegan food is nasty. It's not nasty. We have so many variety. We have french fries, corn, corn of the cob even, onion rings if they're cooked in the right oil, and yeah, so many varieties. Ooh, let me get on them fries. Holla at me potatoes. This is going magnificent. The little weird turtle boy has try some of my french fries and it's going to get better usually around this time the place will be full with customers but now i only have that cute little turtle kid i'm so mad i've lost so many customers because of her, her so now i'm going to make her eat the apples she's going to eat meat and she's going to love it um sweetie Breely, you should go see, eat some of them apples i washed them for you oh okay mother oh they look scrumptious no, not those apples. Oh, why not? Those are for me, but yours are right there next to that cute little turtle boy. Thanks for the compliment. All right. Oh, mother, they look so good. Oh, it's so nasty, mother. Oh, it tastes like meat. To this poor little piggy girl. Somebody called the Popo, the 911 number. <laughs> Is it the apples? Let me taste it. Mmm, steak. According to my calculations, it was you who gave her the meat. You killed your child, ma'am. What? I didn't kill her, I simply gave her some meat to tell her that it's not that bad. Enough! You can't give her meat if she doesn't want to eat it. That's not cool. I thought you were an understanding mother. I'm out of here. And I'm out, bros. No! Oh my gosh, Breely, get up, sweetheart. Oh my gosh. Well, why did I feed you meat when all you were trying to do was save the planet and, and save the animals? Why didn't I listen to you? I'm such a terrible mother. I'm never eating meat again. Look what it's done to us. No! <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Bob and I'm addicted to 
crying. <laughs> well, 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 don't get me wrong or anything. It's not like I'm sad or like depressed or anything. I, I just love the way it feels when I cry and the saltiness in my mouth when the tears hit my lips. <laughs> To make his own water slides, Bob cries on a slide he made at home so that he can slide down it with his own tears. Ah! Wee! Ah! For God's sakes, Bob, if you want to go to a water slide, go to Six Flags or something. You don't gotta cry on your own slide. Honestly, I think my husband is borderline crazy. He cries on a slide to make a water slide. Just grab some water! Or go to an actual water slide! Honestly, what is this? My wife has a problem with my addiction. She thinks it's weird that I like, cry on my own slide to make my own water slide. But honestly, I just love the way it tastes. You know what I do? I lick the slide all the way down. I'll show you what I do. So I cry on the slide. <laughs> and then I do this. <laughs> Satisfying! It's dinner time, and Bob's wife has prepared his favorite meal. Hey, honey. About time you're here, Bob. Well, I made you some fish, and yeah, it's delicious. I forgot the tea. Let me go get it really quick. Oh, no need, my dear. I do not want tea. I'm just going to cry in my cup. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Yum. Salty and tasty. Oh my gosh, Bob. Not again. This is disgraceful. Why can't you drink tea or coffee like normal people? What's wrong with you? Oh, uh, honey, it's it's quite delicious. Do you want to try some? Here you go. Here you go. Bob, I don't want that crap. Ah! What is this, Bob? Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. It slipped off my hand. But look, lick your face. Lick it. Taste the saltiness. This is disgusting, Bob. Seriously? Seriously, I don't want your nasty, salty tears on me. It, it's okay. It, it'll dry off. I'm gonna try your fish. I like it. It's fishy, but it needs some salt. So, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, should be perfect. Delicious. I worked for hours preparing this fish for you. You're not gonna cry on it. If you want it to be salty, just put salt on it. You freaking creep. Honey, you're overreacting. It's not that bad. It's really good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bob cries 10 pounds of water a day. That's more than 500 pounds of water a week. That's more water than there is in the Pacific Ocean. You all might be wondering, why are you still with Bob if you ruined your food and you don't like the way he cries all the time? Well, this weird addiction only started a few weeks ago. One day, Bob was walking and he accidentally stubbed his toe. Oh! <laughs> My toe! This is the first time I ever cried. Mm, this is so delicious. Mm. Yummy, this is so salty and delicious. <laughs> Yummy! Oh my god! Honey, come here! My wife's been crying all of these years, and I don't understand how she doesn't love the taste, too. Th that was the first time I ever cried, and I can't believe I've waited so long! Bob's wife is going to check on her social media and her text messages. Why is my phone not turning on? Bob! <laughs> What's up, sweetie? You cried on my phone, you idiot! My phone is water damaged and I can't use it anymore because you cried on it! Since all Bob does is cry, my phone's the only thing that's been making me happy and now he ruined it! Oh, honey, I didn't realize your phone was there when I was crying. You can lick your phone, it probably tastes good though. <laughs> Honestly, Bob, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> uh.
<laughs> Don't let your tears go to waste. Lick them off. Get off of me! What are you doing? Don't lick my face! You're a weird person! You can't lick my tears! This is the last straw! I'm out of here! No, no, honey! C come, come back! <laughs> Bob has saved one million dollars on the water bill because he showers with his own tears. He has used that money to buy a giant water slide to cry on. Some polar bears hibernate for over 100,000 hours. I thought I can't survive without my wife, but turns out my tears keep me company. They're so good. <laughs> Bob's house is starting to flood with his own tears. Water is wet. People ask me why I'm crying so much. I tell them it's tears of joy, of course. And guess what? I found a way to cry at night so that I can just taste my tears while I'm sleeping. It's great. I cry when I'm sleeping. <laughs> Bob has changed the location of his bed to get more crying space. He is crying during his sleep. The house is slowly beginning to flood. Bob's entire house is flooded. Mm, mm, I can't swim! Mm, mm, mm. Bob has drowned in his own tears. What's up everyone? My name is Bill, and I am addicted to eating toothpaste. Mmm, minty. Ever since I went to the doctor and I had 10 cavities, I just couldn't risk it anymore. So instead of just brushing my teeth, I decided just to eat the toothpaste so I have no chance of cavities whatsoever. Every half hour, Bill goes to the bathroom to eat one bottle of toothpaste. He is making his first trip. Honey, where's the toothpaste? Hey, I'm Marla. I'm Bill's wife, and this toothpaste eating obsession is crazy. Like, it's not gonna help with the cavities. Like, I tell him that all the time. Uh, honey, you ate them all. I don't think we have any more. You can check in the cabinet or something. I already checked the cabinet, and it wasn't there. Stop lying. You hid them away from me so that you could have better teeth than me. Well, you can't beat these. They're the best pair of teeth you'll ever see. Now, if you'll excuse me, jealous person, I'm going to get some more toothpaste to keep these cavities away. Yes, you heard it right here. Keep them cavities away. He thinks I'm jealous of his teeth, but I don't give two craps, to be honest. I like my teeth the way they are. Huh. It is the morning, and Marla is going to brush her teeth. Bill, where's the toothpaste? I hid it, so you don't have to waste my toothpaste. What do you mean? I need to brush my teeth. Get over here, hippo. I don't want you using my toothpaste and having better teeth than me, okay? Plus, I use that- I eat that toothpaste. I don't want you wasting it on those two tiny teeth. You're like a little ladybug. Come on now, you don't need that much toothpaste. Um, I don't want cavities, okay? I don't want to slurp up all of the tube of toothpaste. I just need a little pea-sized amount for my teeth. Now hand it over. No, 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 no! You can't, like, do this. Come back here. I need to brush my teeth. Oh my god, I need to brush them. <laughs> I need to brush my teeth. <laughs> so freaking good. Thank you.
Bill eats 30 tubes of toothpaste a day. That's more than 1 trillion tubes of toothpaste in a year. That's more toothpaste than there ever was made. It started as not wanting to get cavities anymore, but now I just, I love the flavor too much. And I think I have some toothpaste on my mouth. You want to lick it and try it? It's pretty good. Here you go. I just went to the like doctor and he told me I have three cavities. It's all because of Bill, because he keeps hiding the toothpaste. Oh my god! Bill is enjoying a nice shower. Marla, come here, please! What do you want, Bill? Uh, can you hand me that toothpaste over there, please? Oh, okay. Marla suddenly gets an idea. He wants me to give him the toothpaste, but heck no. I'm taking the toothpaste and I'm getting out of here and brushing my teeth. See you later, loser! Marla! Marla has escaped Bill. She is too quick. Bill's teeth are white. The toothpaste is also white. Coincidence? I think not. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? She took my toothpaste. I need toothpaste in my life. It's more than just a toothpaste. It's the love of my life. Let me tell you. I need toothpaste in my life. I don't blame my wife for leaving me because, truthfully, I love toothpaste more than her. And I don't regret it. On top of taking the toothpaste, I like made sure to take all of our life savings so that Bill can't buy any more toothpaste. I knew he had a thing with toothpaste. It's quite sad, really. Can you shut up the camera? I'm getting emotional. It's true. I was emotionally cheating on my wife with the toothpaste. I just couldn't help it. It was too good. And now I can't buy more because she took all of our money! I need more toothpaste. What will I do without toothpaste? Ah! I need toothpaste now! Ah! 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 What am I gonna do? I need toothpaste now! Ah! Ah! What am I gonna do? Ah! Bill is in despair and has no idea what to do. I've got an idea! I'm here at the doctor's office and I'm gonna pretend I need my teeth checked and I'm gonna steal some of their toothpaste! Yes! Excuse me, ma'am? Yes? I'm afraid we can't help you. This is a dentist's office. Um, but you're a doctor, right? And my leg hurts. Yes, um, we are doctors, but we specialize in teeth. I'm very sorry, but you're gonna have to leave. Oh my god, does it even matter what kind of doctor you are? You're a doctor. You should know how to do everything. God, school for 12 years for what? Plus, your glasses do not even look cute on you. Ew, wrong color. I'm out of here. Ow, 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 ow. I hope you break your other leg. <laughs> well, have a nice day. I hope your leg gets better. <gasps> Marlo, what are you doing here? Oh my god, please tell me that's not him. What do you mean, what am I doing here? It's time for me to get my teeth checked. What are you doing here? Well, uh, same here. I'm here for a checkup and to get some toothpaste since you stole it all. Don't play dumb with me, boy. I know it's not time for your six-month checkup. What are you really up to? Ugh, I've been married to her for too long. She knows everything about me. Well, that's my business and it's for me to handle and take care of. So stay in your lane and yeah. I want my mommy! Mommy, where are you? Get out of there already! Oh my god, I'm getting tired of this toy! Alright, sweetheart, let's go! Finally, mother! I've been waiting for you this whole time! Let's go! Mrs. Marla, it's your turn. Alright! <laughs> okay, alright! Stupid ladybug. Bill just realized that he never made a doctor's appointment. So now, he'll never be called in. Aw, oh, snap. Guess... Guess I'll have to sneak in then. No, I don't 
want to get my teeth done. No! Honey, come back. You have to get your cavities filled. It's not that bad. Bill has spent about $5 million on toothpaste alone. That's more than the cost of three homes. Some hippos do not have homes. Okay, Mrs. Marilla, open your mouth, please. I've never sneaked into a dentist's office before. I'm pretty nervous, man. But I still want my toothpaste. Bill sees his target. Excuse me, sir? Uh, uh, yes, ma'am? Sir, uh, what are you doing? Wait, sir, can you just stop? Oh my gosh, Bill. Are you serious? Why are you here? Hold on just a second, ma'am. Marla, stay over there. Mind your own business. I can do whatever I want, okay? Oh, uh, ma'am, I really need to finish this. Shut up for a sec. Oh my gosh, Bill. You're stealing toothpaste. This is unbelievable. Okay, and I really need toothpaste in my life. Sir, you can't steal stuff from here. Uh, I really miss you, Bill. How could you, like, do that to me? Don't you miss me? What is she talking about, missing her? I know, I know that Bill loves his toothpaste so much, but I think I can stop his addiction if I remind him about the great times we had and our long marriage. Toothpaste was invented in the year 5000 BC. I overheard what was happening. I, I'm gonna call the police on you, sir. One second, ma'am, please. What? Are you gonna say an elaborate, long, sweet speech and make him change his mind? Oh, goody, I'd die for those. Will Marla be able to convince Bill to stop his addiction? Bill, I love you so much. My nights without you feel like forever. And without you, it feels like there's never been rain and I'm in a drought. I quit. Without you, there's no sun to brighten up the day or moon to brighten up the night. Without you, I feel like nothing. And I know your toothpaste is your obsession, but I can be your obsession. Bill Montgomery III, I, I love you. Uh, I, I love you too. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he loves you too, he loves you too. So Bill, what would it be? The toothpaste or me? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, I pick. Yes, Bill. Who will you pick? Who will you pick? The toothpaste. <gasps> 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 hmm. Bye. <laughs>
Mom, leave me alone, okay? I need to be as hot as Savannah and Brooke so that I can have a boyfriend like Sage or Tom. Honey, they're actors. It's not their real life. Their body is different from yours. You're perfect the way you are. No offense, Mom, but I ain't trying to look like you, okay? I want to look like them. Look how hot they are. They're so hot. I want to look just like them. Honey, stop. It's just a show. It's the best show ever! <laughs> the best thing I've ever seen in my life! I love Sage. I love Tom. I want to look exactly like these pretty ladies right here. You can't stop me, Mom! LP is popular as my life! Honey, come back. He is pretty hot. <laughs> Bailey exercises for six hours a day. That's more than five million hours a year. That's more characters than there are in LPS Popular. So, you guys might be wondering, since you love LPS Popular so much, you must love Sophie. No, I don't frankly like her that much because she uploads videos like once or twice a year. Um, hello, I need my daily dose of LPS Popular every single day. Why does she upload like once a year? I'm like, I read the comments and people are like, oh, leave her alone, she has a life. Well, I have a life too. I wanna watch LPS Popular and LPS Popular is my life. So Sophie G, get filming, girl. So I was going through my daughter's internet history. What? Oh, and nothing at all, sweetheart. Get back to your little show. Anyways, I was tracking her history and I saw that she commented on all of Sophie's videos and said, upload more videos, upload more videos. If I was Sophie, I would have blocked her already. Th that's so rude. For your information, mother, Sophie already blocked me on all six of my accounts, but there's one more account she didn't block on my Sage is Bay account. I'm still commenting with that account. She can't stop me. I won't stop unless she, co she uploads videos every single day. Well. Sophie's entire life isn't about LPS Popular, and you should learn from her and find something else to do. Mom, if I don't like LPS Popular, what else am I gonna like? It's my entire life! Stop! Leave me alone! You find something to do! Oh, really? Who do you think pays for your posters? All of these huge, gigantic posters that cover up your whole room. Who do you think paid for those? Whatever, Mom. You always wanna brag about the money you get. Gosh. Let me watch this episode for the millionth time. So I believe that the LPS Popular has about 20 episodes or something like that. And my daughter has watched them over 10 times each, I can guarantee you that. And I don't know how she doesn't get tired of them. I know the, the entire storyline just from hearing her watch it. Pa, 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 you lie. Bailey watched each LPS Popular episode 955 times each. That's more than 5,633 minutes a year. That's more time than humans have spent on the earth. So, the whole cricket thing with Brooke and Savannah has been all over the place, and it's made me want to get a cricket for myself. Like, I want my own cricket to call Mimi or Gigi. I haven't decided yet, but I don't know, I'll make my mind up later. So, I asked my mom if I can get one, and she said no because I'm irresponsible. That's not fair. I want a cricket. Hello. Bailey's friend has arrived and is paying her a visit. That's right. Get her, Brooke. Get her. How did you get here? Uh, your mother let me in. Let's watch some LPS Popular because after that I have some great news I want to tell you. It's great. Gigi. Oh my god, you can be my pet. What does she mean I can be her pet? I'm her friend. God. Since I can't get a cricket for myself, my friends can be my pets and crickets. Okay, Mimi, let's watch LPS Popular. Come on over, Gigi. First of all, I'm not a cricket. I'm your friend. I'm a freaking turtle. And second of all, if I was your pet, make up your mind. Am I Gigi or BB? Gosh. <laughs> You're so funny, Mimi. Anyways, let's watch this episode. It's my favorite one. Actually, they're all my favorite. Yeah! Bailey and her friend have been watching LPS Popular for 24 hours straight. My eyes hurt. Can we stop watching now? Oh my god, did he just say he wants to stop watching LPS Popular? What kind of friend does that? What kind of friend are you, Gigi? Gosh, this is my favorite part and you're ruining it! Ah! If you don't appreciate my passion for watching LPS Popular, then I don't appreciate you. Now, let's get back to watching. Come be my pet. Gigi. My eyes hurt. Ah! Savannah is a dog. Ow, for some all that hurt. My head, first of all, let's address that for a second. And second of all, I was gonna tell you my great idea. 
unless that idea consists of me watching LPS popular or meeting Brooke herself, then no. Well, it does consist of that. Exactly what I thought. Let's continue watching then. No, the other part. Meeting Brooke? What? Yes, meeting Brooke and Savannah. I know where they live. Let's kidnap them. It's true. I do know where they live. And if I can get them for Bailey, maybe she'll fall in love with me. I've loved her ever since we were kids. And I know I'm not saying or anything, but I I'm going to give it a shot. Bailey, did I just hear you saying that you want to kidnap Brooke and Savannah? There will absolutely be no kidnapping in this house. Oh my god, mom! You always ruin everything for me! Oh my god! I just wanted to be my idol! Well, that is that, and you are grounded. Your mother can't stop us, sweetheart. I already kidnapped them. I have them in my house. I'm gonna ignore the fact that you called me sweetheart. But let me go see. Come on. I'm just gonna sneak out the house. I don't care what my mom says. Let's go! I know she doesn't want me to call her sweetheart or whatever, but these are the first steps of her falling in love with me. No, wait. I can't cause too much commotion in my house because my parents are there and stuff. I'm gonna go get them for you and bring them here, okay? So your mom will not be suspicious. Aww. That's a good cricket. <laughs> oh, right on it, sweetheart. <laughs> definitely. I'm definitely gonna make her fall in love with me. Okay, just because I love LPS popular doesn't mean I want to kidnap them and, like, hurt them. I want to do something very simple. I just want them to sign all of my posters and my laptop because all I do is watch LPS popular on there and all of my legs as well as my head. After that, I'm gonna ask them for their beauty secrets and exactly how they achieve their beauty. And then I'm gonna ask them how they get these hot men. <laughs> Those scrumptious hot men. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, dearie. These hot men. Sweetheart, sweetheart over here. Here they are. and Savannah in my room for like a few hours now and I don't know what to do like if I get them out they'll run away and I just want to talk to them peacefully but I don't know how to go about doing that <laughs> Operate in her videos. I have a great idea. I'm gonna lock all of the doors in your room, and your mom is sleeping, so she won't hear them scream. But when they get out, they won't be able to get out, so you'll just talk to them and stuff. So here, I'm gonna lock the doors real quick. Oh my gosh, my pet is so loyal. All right, well I've locked all the doors. You can set them free now. Goody. All right, come on out. Come on out. All right, girls, calm down. I let you out of the cage. I mean, the bag. So I need to do a few things for me before I let you go. I need to send all of these posters, send all of my legs, my head, and I need to call a stage for me and Tom so we can um have a good time. <laughs> not the Brewster bubble or anything, Bailey, but I don't think they're taking any requests right now. Look at them. They seem pretty bad. Uh, Brooke, can you, like, back away? I really love you, so, like, can you just, like, back away, please? <laughs> Oh, uh, I have nothing to do with this. I mean, I don't care that people, but I'm at the farm. Oh! Bailey and her friend are knocked unconscious. Brooke gets her nails sharpened twice a day. That's sharper than 40,000 samurai swords. Brooke, did you find the exit yet? I've literally been searching the entire house, and it's all closed, and her mom sleeps like a zombie. How are we supposed to get out of here? I have so much on my schedule! I get many people that are obsessed with LPS Popular, but never like this. No one has ever kidnapped us. I know Tom is kidnapped, but I never thought I would be kidnapped too. Let's just wake these creeps up. Hey, get up, you beardo! Get up! Ow, my head! Uh, hurt! You too, get up! Oh my god! Did I make out with you, Bailey, yet? Did I? Since I got you, love? Ew, no! Never in a million years, ever! <gasps> oh my god! Brooke and Savannah! Oh my god, I cannot believe this is actually real in my house! 
<laughs> so do you see my posters? Because I love you so, so, so much. I've watched every single popular episode. Like, I don't even know how much times. Like, so much times. And you guys are like, everything to me. Like, can you, like, sign my posters and stuff? I'm so sorry about what happened. It was, um, can you please be quiet? Like, can you just get us out of here? We're really busy people. Um, that's gonna be kind of hard because the only reason I agreed to this weirdo kidnapping you is so that you can sign my stuff. So can you just, like, please do it? I mean, if you approached us like normal people and asked us to sign our stuff, we would have gladly done it, but you kidnapped us. I know that the right thing to do is to let them go, but I wanted this and I've dreamed about this moment for all of my life, and I'm not letting them go until I get what I want. And you know what? I'm even going to make them reenact a popular episode, so, cause, like, so I don't have to wait that long for a new one. Since you're so busy and you want to get out of here, I have a proposition. If you guys sign all of my posters to give me all of your beauty secrets, and reenact a new popular episode for me, I'll let you go, no problem. I've been around Bailey for a lot of my life, and I know what she's like, and here she's like, even if I did all of those stuff, she's never gonna let them go. Bailey is forcing Brooke and Savannah to sign all of her posters. They have signed over 50 posters so far. <laughs> oh my gosh, we finished signing almost all of your posters. Can we go now? Yeah, seriously, I feel like my paws are about to fall off. No, no, my sweets. The party is just getting started! <laughs> I think your head is too big for that bandana because it keeps falling off. Use your big, fat head to open the door for us right now before I send you to jail. Wow, this is the only time where I approve of this. You guys have been my idols. Like, is this how you treat your biggest fan? <laughs> but whatever. You're still going to tell me your secrets so I can get all of the hot men's. So, start. Please, can, can you just get us out of here? Please. I feel like my paws are about to fall off. <laughs> Please, can, can you just get us out of here? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Brooke calls Savannah a wiener 50 times a day. That's more than 5,000 times a second. That's more wieners than there are in the world. I'm gonna ask Savannah how she got her glow up, although I already know that the only reason she looks so beautiful now is because she dyed her hair. Let's get started with the beauty secrets. So, Savannah, can you please give me your hair dye that you use to dye your hair so I can look as beautiful as you? And Brooke, give me some of your diet pills that make you so skinny and teach me how to throw up. I don't really throw up, you idiot. It's just a show. It's not real. When are you going to let us go? We've signed all of your posters and done everything you wanted. If Sophie won't give me a popular episode, I'm going to make myself a popular episode. Mimi, come here. Yes, Bailey, my love. Gigi, I need you to give me your camera. So, my little cricket over here is going to film you guys and you're going to film a popular episode for me, okay? Act it out. Is this girl crazy? Alright, you two. Ready, set, action. Uh, Sage is mine. Back off, Brooke. No, Savannah, you back off. Call her a hot dog wiener sausage. Call her that. Call her. You hot dog wiener sausage. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, now fight, 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 fight. Uh, if you want, I can pretend to be Sage. Ew, Gigi. No offense. Actually, offense. But you don't got that hot body or the face. My heart has been shattered, but little does she know I've been hitting the gym, so... I should be looking like Sage in no time. <laughs> Pow. Ow, that hurt you, dumb cat. Scratch her, scratch her. You guys are not acting good. Act better, act better. Ugh, screw this. I've had enough of this. We are not doing this anymore. We've had enough of your fat head. I agree with Brooke. Get us out of here. Fine, fine. I'll get you out of here if you bring me Sage. Bring me, bring him here. He's the only man I've ever loved. She has never even met Sage and she loves him. How could she not love me? I've done everything for her. The only man you've ever loved. What about me? I've done everything for you, but all you do is treat me like a cricket. I, I, I've had enough of this. Tell me you love me, or I'm gonna unlock the door. Mimi, stop being so silly. Listen, Mimi. Listen to me. She has never loved you, and she never will, so don't listen to her. Yeah, Gigi, listen to me. Don't let this fat head control you. Find someone who really cares about you, and you're a really hot guy, so... I'm sure you can find someone who loves you. Girls, I really appreciate the sweet comments. They're really sweet, but can you shut up for a second? I'm having a moment here. Listen, Bailey, I loved you ever since I could remember. 
and I've always wanted you to love me back. So, just if you tell me you love me, I'll help you get them to do what you want. But if, if you don't, if you can't say that you love me, I'm gonna unlock these doors and let these sweet ladies out. Oh my god, what is going on? Everything was going my way just five seconds ago! I just want Sage! Ah! Sage has two eyes. Just say you love me. Just say you love me and I won't open the doors. I, I, uh... If you say you love him, you'll never have a chance with hot Sage. Yeah, you'll never be able to touch Sage with your paws. And he's an ugly turtle. Why would you ever love him? Uh, rude. You just said I was hot. But whatever. Uh, I, I don't love you, Mimi. I knew you would do this stuff. I knew you would do this. First of all, my name is Maxwell, not Mimi or Gigi. I I'm just so sick, sick of you and popular and everything. I'm gonna rip this entire thing apart. <gasps> that poster is so heavy, it weighs 50 pounds, it could crush someone. Whatever, I frankly don't care. Alright, Savannah and Brooke, let's go. No, you can't open the door, you can't, stop it. Get off of me, go off. Yeah, move, go over there. Let's go. The 50 pound poster is beginning to fall. Come on, turtle, open the door. Uh, actually, the door could only be opened from the outside, and I don't have keys. Oh my god, we're never gonna get out of here. I think her mom's gonna wake up soon. Time for breakfast, honey. Huh? Who are you? Move over. Well, ouch, that hurt. Where's Bailey? Bailey! The giant poster crushed Bailey. Her mom soon found her, but it was too late. My name is Blake. My lovely Pinkie Pie. Would you like some more tea? And I'm addicted to My Little Pony. Specifically, Pinkie Pie. Oh, so no tea, just some cake. Alright, you enjoy that cake. I've watched every single episode of My Little Pony, but since my wife left and took my laptop, I can't watch it anymore. But instead, I spend my time decorating my room just, just in My Little Pony stuff, especially Pinkie Pie. <laughs> My husband, well, my ex-husband, I should say, was so addicted to My Little Pony. He 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 decorated the, our whole house and changed all of our furniture to pink it's just disgusting every time someone would come over they're like what is this are you are you in love with my little pony and i would have to explain to them it was my crazy husband and i was having enough of it i was done and he would watch so much my little pony like more than spend time with me and like it just made me so mad frankly i don't care that my wife left i don't need her all i need is pinkie pie <laughs> good jumping Blake has kidnapped Pinkie Pie against her will. He told her that he would return her to her dimension soon, but that has not yet happened. Pinkie, uh, say something funny. Why aren't you saying anything? Talk. Since I watched all of My Little Pony, I thought I'd kidnap Pinkie Pie and just have her be there all the time so that I don't have to watch it, but she won't say a word. She won't talk. On Blake's My Little Pony posters, there are over 5,633 Pinkie Pies. That's more pink than there is in the world. I know, I told Pinkie Pie that I'd bring her back to her home soon, but I'm not going to do that. I need her by my side. I need her! Pinkie Pie is very upset and desperately wants to go home. Pinkie Pie, please, why are you acting like this? Get up! I, I need you to, to interact with me and, like, entertain me. Let's have fun together. Stop it. Ever since my wife took my TV, I have no connection with My Little Pony whatsoever. You're my only connection. Please, get up. Come on, sing. My Little Pony, get up. You can do that all you want, but you're never going back home. You're my source of entertainment, and you're never going to leave. Ah! You're never going back home. Before Blake's wife took his TV, Blake watched 93 hours of My Little Pony a day. That's more hours than there is in a day.
That is almost impossible. Well, if Pinkie Pie won't entertain me, I'll find a way to entertain us both. I've invited a friend over to have some cake and tea with us. Oh, Pinkie Pie, come on. My friend is almost here. Pinkie Pie walks away angrily. No, Pinkie Pie, come back. Oh, come on in. Um, why are we in your daughter's room? Um, on the dating site, you said you were manly. This is not manly at all. No, I don't have a daughter. This is my room. And I am very manly. I just kind of like uh, my little pony. And I also have a pony. Not saying true to anything, but it's kind of weird that you like my little pony. You're like a grown man. And you have a pony? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yes, yes, I do have a pony. Oh, Pinkie Pie, come here, my dear. What you doing? Oh, not much. Just enjoying some cake and tea. Come join us, Pinky. Who are you talking to? There's nobody there. Uh, don't you see Pinky right there? Uh, no. I don't see any pony over there. Like, what are you talking about? You're crazy. What are you talking about, you bird? She's, she's right there. Don't call her fake. I love her. Where? I see nothing. See? She's right there! Wow, you really are crazy! Oh my god, I'm out of here, you lunatic! <laughs> the heck? You're weird, and this is not a healthy obsession with my little pony, you weirdo. <laughs> hey, you can't even make tea! I'm not crazy! Ah! I'm not crazy! Ah! On the dating site, this guy seemed like a normal man. But when I got there, he's like imagining ponies. His room looks crazy, and he is crazy. Who imagines a little pony? Pinkie Pie is pink. So that dumb bird said I was imagining Pinkie Pie? I'm not imagining her, she's really there. I'm not crazy. Pinkie Pie realizes that Blake will never let her go. And she has an idea. This calls for extreme measures, Pinkie Pie style. Pinkie Pie realizes that he is imagining her, and that she can do whatever she wants in his imagination. What's going on? Where, where are these Pinkie Pies coming from? I know I see that many Pinkie Pies. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Blake's addiction led him to imagine Pinkie Pie. She was never actually there. Blake's extreme insanity caused by his addiction led to his death. That is very scary. And spooky! Yes, and very spooky. Hey! That's what I said! I'm a famous YouTuber. Hi guys, my name is Bianca. I finished editing my daily vlog. And I'm addicted to YouTube! Upload! Woo! So, my YouTube career hasn't really hit off yet, so I'm pretty broke. <laughs> but... I used all of my money to buy all of these little posters to decorate my friend's house with because, of course, I don't have my own apartment. Hi, I'm Bianca's best friend, and at first, Bianca's addiction seemed pretty normal. Many of us watch YouTube too much, but Bianca is crazy. I just love YouTube so much. I love it so much that I have to be filming all the time so I can create exciting content for my YouTube channel. Duh. Because I watch YouTube videos all the time and like I always see like the cool stuff I do. So I always try to one up people because YouTube is the best. I want to be the best YouTuber out there. Bianca is filming her daily vlog. She used to upload a vlog every single day. But now she uploads five vlogs a day. Hey Bianca Squad, it's me Bianca again, and now I'm going to be doing the screaming challenge. Okay, so the purpose of this challenge is to scream as loud as you can for as long as you can. Ready, set, go! Bianca's friend is trying to sleep despite the noise. <laughs> okay guys, it's the longest I can scream for. I think that was a good 30 minutes. But if you guys liked this challenge, please forget, don't forget to subscribe and wait for my four new videos coming up today. Ugh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, you just interrupted my outro. Can you just shut up for like five minutes and I don't have to free film it? Stop filming everything. Some people like their privacy. Ugh, no, I can film if I want to. I love filming YouTube videos. YouTube is my life. Stop telling me what to do. Ugh.
I have to be a famous YouTuber and I can't let you stop me. Bianca's videos get one view each. Bianca also has one earring. Coincidence? I think not. She films everything, even when she's peeing. Hey guys, so I hope that you guys are happy that I upgraded to 20 vlogs each a day. So now I'm taking my little bathroom break. I have a little bit of diarrhea. <laughs> so let me explain to you the sensation. It's kind of hard. Gross. <laughs> decided to add my best friend in my vlogs because I need some more content. So now I'm just following her around and filming my friend doing her daily activities. While Bianca's filming outside, Bianca's friend decides to pee really quick before she comes inside and films her. <gasps> Bianca! So here we have inside- <gasps> You're peeing?! Why didn't you tell me you're peeing? This is great content! Okay guys, so here is my best friend. She is on the toilet. Maybe she has some diarrhea as well. And so, yes, she is having a great time on that toilet. Yes, you keep peeing. This is great content. Oh my god! I'm in the bathroom! Get out! No, no! Keep peeing, it's great! You better shut up and stop filming YouTube videos. Stop, stop filming it. Keep peeing. So, Bianca Squad, what do you think of her peeing? Stop filming me for stupid YouTube! I have a perfect video idea, a clickbait title now. Yes! Ugh. Be sure to subscribe and, oh my god. Be sure to subscribe to see more crazy videos of my crazy roommate. So now I'm gonna keep messing with my roommate. Well, this is her house. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna keep messing with her because it creates perfect video content and it makes my videos so interesting. Yes! She's not filming her videos, she is watching YouTube videos. YouTube, YouTube 24 7. Bianca's friend thinks that Bianca is simply watching YouTube videos. She does not know that Bianca is making a video about her. Okay, story time. Crazy roommate abuses me. Perfect! Publish. <laughs> Bianca has a total of a million views on her videos. Bianca has one million videos. Bianca has one view per video. The video I uploaded about my roommate, my crazy roommate, is getting the most views I've ever gotten. It's got a hundred views. I know that doesn't sound like much to you, but it's the most views I've ever gotten. I'm on my way to becoming a famous YouTuber. Everyone's gonna subscribe. Oh yeah, I'm a famous YouTuber. All right, Bianca squad, I'm so happy to be back on YouTube with another video. So if you guys remember my previous video about my crazy roommate, she's right over there sleeping and I I'm so scared I'm watching her every step because she's so abusive. Bianca's friend hasn't slept for 24 hours because of all the noise that Bianca makes watching YouTube videos. Ugh. Okay, here she is, guys. She's sleeping right now, and I'm, I'm so scared what will happen when she wakes up. She now lives with me because her mother had enough of her addiction. Now I know why her mom kicked her out. This girl is uncontrollable. Ugh. She is now drinking some sort of beverage. I don't know what it could be, but maybe it's some crazy roommate beverage. Yes, yes! Publish. <laughs> She is now bouncing on this giant pillow. How rude to a pillow! Crazy roommate destroys furniture. Yes! Publish! <laughs> yes, yes! My crazy roommate was just walking, and if you don't know, there are many bugs and insects on the floor. My roommate is a murderer! My roommate is a murderer! <laughs> Publish! Yes, 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 yes! More views, more views! <laughs> the YouTube logo has a triangle in it. Illuminati confirmed. Guys, there's my roommate standing there, doing nothing, being useless, letting me do all the work in the house. I can't take this anymore. Bianca, this is too much. Ugh, stop ruining the video. I'm your friend. Don't you accept me for who I am? I did accept you, but I've told you to stop so many times. Well, a friend wouldn't tell me to stop, and if you want to stay friends, you have to let me film. Well, I guess we can't be friends anymore. Oh, well, I don't want to be your friend anymore, and if you keep doing this, I'm gonna leave. Okay, whatever. I've been getting a lot of views recently, and she's gonna ruin this for me by kicking me out, maybe. No, I'm staying here. No, you're not staying here. Get out.
I know I should be super depressed that my roommate is kicking me out and I gotta admit I'm being kind of annoying but I don't care I want to make my YouTube videos so I'm gonna make the best of this I'm gonna call this roommate kicks me out and leaves me on the street yes I'm gonna say she left me on the street to fend for myself you can't stay here if you're gonna film everything for YouTube all the time so you're gonna kick me out see guys my evil roommate is kicking me out and she's leaving me to leave into the streets on my own Oh my god, get out of the street! So here I am guys, in the streets, my roommate kicked me out. She's so heartless. I'm, I'm right here standing, cars are passing by. See what she did to me? Get off of the street, you'll get hurt! You should have thought of that before you kicked me out, creep. And I see a car coming. Hey car, you wanna be in my vlog? Oh my god, it's getting too close! Ah! Oh, Bianca, oh my god! Bianca was hit by a car and was rushed to the hospital. She did not make it. and other animals. I'm Lima Bean and this is CAT News. Recently, a mass robbery has occurred at the LPS Cemetery. Five bodies were stolen from their graves. What makes this robbery very strange is the fact that all five animals stolen were from the popular TV show LPS Addicted. They were Brenda, a 15-year-old girl that was addicted to Melanie Martinez, Bash, a 13-year-old boy addicted to Pokemon, Bianca, a 19-year-old girl addicted to YouTube, Bailey, a 12-year-old spider addicted to the show LPS Popular, and Bella, an 11-year-old skunk that was addicted to farting. Investigators have found no evidence of who the thief could be, except this footage taken by the security cameras in the cemetery. Here it is. As you can see, the robber's face is hidden by a black hood. The only suspect police are looking into is the creator of the LPS Addicted series, Alina Sanders. Here is what she has to say. Alina, you are currently convicted of stealing the bodies of five dead cast members of your Addicted series. Brenda, Bash, Bianca, Bailey, and Bella. What do you have to say about this? Uh, I'm innocent. I don't know why anybody would want to steal dead bodies and why they would specifically want to steal them from the show that I made. It's so confusing. So, you're saying you didn't steal the bodies? Yes. I mean, no. No, I didn't steal the bodies. I did not steal the bodies. Oh my god! OMG, Becky, get up right now! Oh my god! What do you want? How dare you interrupt my beauty sleep? Mama? And you woke up furball! What do you want, Mitch? This is very urgent. I was just watching the news, and guess what? They just arrested Alina! Oh my god! Well, yeah, she ain't paying me enough. That's why she got arrested. But for real, why'd she get arrested, though? Well, apparently, you know that dumb show that she does, LPS um, Addicted, that you're about to be on? Anyways, five of the people that were in it, their bodies were stolen from the cemetery, because you know how, like, they all died? So, like, five of them were, like, stolen, and, like, they blamed it on her. Why would Alina do such a thing? <laughs> exactly. I'm pretty sure that she didn't do it. Like, we have to find out what's going on. Alina always wanted us to save her butt. Whatever. All right, I'm going to call a babysitter for furball so we can go find out what's happening. And it better be worth it and there better be cake at the end. I ain't playing no games here, sister. You right, you right. Anyways, I'll call Norboy to babysit um furball. He's the best babysitter. Jump, little bird. Jump, jump. Yeah, you doggy. Jump, jump. Oh my gosh, my phone is ringing. Hello? Hey, Narboy. It's me, Mitch. Um, I just had a quick question for you. Oh my goodness, it's Mitch. It's Mitch. Hello, Mitch. What would you like, my love? I mean, what would you like? Did he just say almost my love to Mitch? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Quack, quack. Mm-hmm. Well, me and Becky had to run some errands, if you will, and we were wondering if the best babysitter could babysit Furball for us. Um, sure. Get a babysitter, but who is the best babysitter? Um, you, Narboy. Oh my gosh, you were talking about me? Are you meaning to say that my babysitting skills are A1? Yep, I'm talking about you, Narboy. Oh, brother. <laughs> You've come to the right place, Mitch. I'll be right over, ma'am. No, Mitch remembered me. He remembered me. No. Okay, bye, Narboy. Okay, so Narboy will be here in a bit.
Okay, Furball, I want you to be a good little duck when the babysitter comes. Don't tire him. Don't be rude. Don't start quacking at him left and right like you do to me. Becky, stop yelling at the poor child. Anyways, do you want to call Todd and, like, have him come with us? I would call my little sugar plum schnookums, but he's on a trip with his mother. Ugh, so annoying. She always takes him away from me, like, oh my god. Ah, Carrots would have liked to have him aboard. <laughs> oh, the door is banging. Door is open. You can come in, Narboy. Ooh, Narboy really came in fast. It's not Narboy, you noobs. Who the flip are you? And what are you doing here? Weirdo, did you just call us noobs? What does that even mean? Noobs, noobs. I thought you were Narboy. First of all, noobs means doobie. Have you ever heard of that word? Google it. Right. And second of all, I'm not Narboy. I'm Maxwell. Haven't you ever seen me in LPS Addicted? God! Oh yeah, I remember you. You were in the, um, Addicted to LPS Popular, and you were, you had a crush on that big-headed spider girl. Big-headed? She was actually very cute and lately, actually. Oh yeah, I remember you, and you were in a couple of other Addicted episodes. Your name is Maxwell, right? You remember my name? Thank you, little buddy. And your name is Ned. Yes, I remember your name. And I remember your name, you ungrateful poodle. Your name is Becky. God! Whatever. Just get out of here, you weird turtle. Why are you in my house anyway? I was gonna help you guys free Alina because I know who kidnapped the bodies. But since you don't want my help, I'll just be on my way. Whatever. Wait, Maxwell. You know who the real thief is? Well, yes. Yes, I do. Oh, can you stay and help us then, please? Becky, don't be mean. He can help us. Let him stay. Fine, whatever. He can stay. Come in. The door is open. Hello, everyone. I'm here. I'm here. Who is this other turtle? Are you replacing me, Mitch? Are you replacing my babysitting skills with this other lad? No, he's not a babysitter. His name is Maxwell, and he's here to help us find Alina and the bodies that were stolen. Oh, I got scared there for a second. Hello there, Maxwell. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you too, our boy. I, I've seen you in Mental Mackey before, so I know who you are. Okay, yeah. And I appreciate you calling me by my name. I like that turtle over there who called me that dumb turtle. I'm a that dumb turtle. I am a Lee Maxwell. Whatever, noob. See, look at me using your own words against you. Noob. Noob. Can you both take a chill pill? Uh, calm down. We have more important things to worry about. Okay, our boy. There is Furball right there on the pillow, and you know where everything else is because you've done this before. Okay, I can trust you. Let's go, guys. And we're out, bros. Hey, I copied you. <laughs> you can use my words whenever you want, Mitch. Anyways, I'm going to babysit this cute little Furball. You guys don't have to worry about a thing. Come here, little Furball. If anybody tries to scare you, I'll scare them like this. No! And they'll leave you alone. Oh, my God. That was a terrifying sound. Holy God. All right, and I'm out. Whatever, guys. I'm gonna out of here. Ow! Mitch, help me up. Help me. Don't worry, Mitch. You don't have to come. I'll help her. I'm very powerful. Ugh. Oh my gosh. What have you been eating, Becky? Ugh. I can't do it. I don't know why. It's because you're a little overweight. Did you just call me overweight? Well, duh, I'm overweight. I've been eating cakes all day, boy. You wish you had more cake like me. And I'm overweight because of this cake. Cake, 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 cake. You wish you had it, boy. Nah. First of all, your mother is a very peculiar one. She's a very strange woman. Oh my god, it is so bright outside and sunny. My eyes are hurting. I know, but it's kind of clots because I'm getting this tan. I don't want to get a tan. I like my orange skin. Look like a carrot. Hide me from the sun. No, I ain't hiding you. Oh, no, it ain't, girl. Get yourself a tan. You two are so weird. Stop acting so weird and let's just get out to the some good stuff, like finding those five bodies so we could free Alita. You're right, you're right. We should We should be trying to find them. But, hey, I have a question. How did you even know who the thief is? The police don't even know. How do you know? I have my ways. Don't question me. But now, follow me. I know where his lair is at. Mitch, he seems awfully suspicious, if you ask me. Becky, he's just a young, helpful turtle. Can you just accept help when you get it? Whatever, but don't say I didn't warn you when something goes wrong. Now let's go. Right after you. Are 
Here it is, the lair of the evil thief. Oh, really led us to an ice cream shop. Like, why would an evil thief be in an ice cream shop? What do you think, we're a dumb turtle? God. Becky, stop being so mean. This is actually a really good hiding spot for a bad guy. Nobody would suspect it at all. Precisely, and it's an abandoned ice cream shop, so nobody's in there except for the thief. All right, whatever, let's just go in and like break this tape or whatever. Okay, let's just rip through this evil tape and get those bodies. Becky, eh. You could've just went under the tape. You don't have to destroy everything in your way, but whatever. Yeah, you're right, but this was way more fun. Alright guys, let's go in. Uh, actually, you two could go in. I'm just gonna wait out here. Uh, I ordered a burrito and I'm waiting for it, so. You ordered a burrito? What a stupid excuse. You're just scared to go in, because you're a scaredy cat. Whatever, let's just do it ourselves. It's okay, Maxwell let us here. We can do the rest by ourselves. Yes, yes, you're right, Mitch. You guys can do this by yourself. Good luck, good luck. Now we can do this. Let's go. Eh, so annoying, all this tape. Yeah, let's get those people. Yes, I've successfully framed Delina. And now, I can successfully take over the world! <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> Sir, I sense intruders in the building. Why are you talking like this all weird? I thought it would make me sound more evil, but do you want me to stop? Yes, yeah, stop that voice. It's very annoying. Talk normally. And intruders, you say? Let them in. Uh, sir, they're right behind you. Welcome to my lair. What brings you here, ugly and uglier? Oh, uh, heck no. Did you just call me ugly? You little squirt. You're ugly. Um, Becky, I think I was ugly. You were uglier. Anyways, look! Oh my god! It's the stolen bodies! Oh my god! Yes, it is the stolen bodies! It is! Guess it wasn't your precious Alina! Why, why did you take the bodies for? What's your motive? Why are you doing this? Do you hate Alina or something? I don't hate Alina. I just want to take over the world! And for years, I've been working on making zombie warriors. And these people are the perfect ones because they have addictions. And pets with addictions make the most evil warriors. And soon, with these warriors, I'm gonna take over the world! Ha ha ha! And you can't stop me. It's true. I used to be a normal pig. But then after his experiments, look at me. I'm a zombie pig man from Minecraft. Ha <laughs> ha! But they're framing Alina for this. She's gonna get in trouble and go to jail because of you. I do not care who goes to jail. Whoever gets in my plan will go to jail for sure. And soon there will be no jails because I'm going to let all prisoners go. And everyone is going to follow my commands. And I will rule the world. <laughs> that sounds like such a great plan. But then they're all dead, you stupid. How are you going to make them your evil minions or whatever when they're all dead, you idiot? Yeah, I can smell them. They stink and their bodies are decaying. Oh, don't you think I know that, you stupids? For years, I've been working on a machine that brings people back to life. And I've finally successfully finished it. And I have all that I need to bring my warriors alive so they can serve me and I can take over the world. Ha 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 And nobody can stop me. B, you are so dumb. You think we're going to stand here and wait for you to bring them back to life? Mitch, go call the police. I'll get to the dead bodies. Okay? Okay. Not so fast! Bartholomew, get him, boy! Ow, ow, ow! <gasps> you hit my best friend, you idiot! There, how does that feel? How does that one feel? Bartholomew, you are a worthless creature! Get up! This is impossible! Oh, I am in great pain. I cannot get up. I'll take matters into my own hands! Switching them into zombies takes seconds. 
Yes, I'll do it myself. I got her. That's good, Bartholomew. Put her in jail with her little orange friend. Yes, sir. Oh, get off me, you stink. You smell like a little freaking decayed marshmallow. Get off of me, you ugly little pink blob. Get off. Have fun in there. She is in jail now, sir. No, no, baby. Gets in the way of my plan. You two idiots were just a little bump in the road. Nothing much. To my zombifying! Yeah! Step free, theory, stupid bee! Mama! Mama! Bartholomew, why did you let these two idiots in? You're sleeping! How worthless of you! Get up! Narboy, how did you know we were here? I have a great sense of smell. I sensed that Midge was in trouble. So I followed your scent all the way over here, and I told Furball that we have to save you. You know, I can just dispose of you myself, but I'll just get my minion to do it for me! <laughs> Narboy, get us out of here! Do not fear! No! 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 That should terrify you, you dumb little bee. Are you scared now? Scare me! myself so that my minions can destroy you. Gate unlock. My glasses. Come on guys, let's jump her. Yeah, let's beat her up. But I have a question. Are you a boy or a girl? I am whatever gender I want to be. <laughs> Silence! You literally just silenced yourself, but okay. I will be picking one of these pets to take all of you down. All of you down. We can easily beat them up. Like, we're tough. Quack, 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 quack. No, no, no. Show us what you've got, sister. Or brother, or whatever you are. I will show you what I've got, sister. I will. Now, who should I pick? I'll pick Bella from Addicted to Fighting. Come, my precious. Oh my gosh, get her out of there. What are you doing to her? What's gonna happen now? Is she gonna become a zombie? Oh my god! Oh, you guys shall see. I'm going to activate it now. Three, two, one. Zombify! smell. Let me fix it by farting a bit. Oh my gosh, that's so impolite. Take that to the other room and count to ten. Ew! <sighs> Delicious. Ah, it does smell nice. It does. Ew, it stinks. It feels like my nose is burning. This girl needs a plug on her butt. Like, I've smelled many bad things, but this, by far, is the worst smell I've ever smelled. At first, when she farts, you don't feel it, but then it hits you. Like Midge hit me with her love. What? Oh, nothing. Did I say that out loud? Oh my god, can you cut it, please? Sorry. You guys look very bored, and I have a little treat for you guys. Ready? No, no, quack, quack, no.
While in her grave, Bella has farted over 63,523 times. Her fart spread and killed the dead people. Again. Narboy, Midge, Becky, and Furball are still unconscious. So, Master, did I kill them? Did I do it? No, these idiots are not dead. You still have another fart. It's your magical zombie fart. Use that and they'll die. They'll die. <laughs> I had a dream that, I, that this girl farted on me. Oh my gosh, it's not a dream. No. Mm. I had a dream that you said you loved me. What a bad dream. No. No, come back here, Kate. I swear I won't abandon you for my diet. What? Guys, you know what this means? She doesn't have magical powers because her fart didn't kill us. Eh, hey, hey, we bought a dump, you little skunk. We're gonna return you back to your little comfy coffin. You three are really so stupid. You haven't seen her magical fart. <laughs> Silence! So apparently you have a magical fart that kills everybody because it smells so good. I mean, <laughs> how can you top that smell? A zombie fart? What does a zombie fart do? I don't wanna find out. I'll tell you guys. So my zombie fart, you sniff it, it goes through your body, melts all of your organs, and then you die! Yeah! 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 <laughs> yeah! Yes, it melts all of their organs! Yeah! Yeah! Both of you, shut up! Your laughs are so annoying! I thought Midge's laugh was annoying! You guys are so annoying! I knew you would bring me into this! Leave my name out your mouth! <laughs> Shame on you, Becky, making fun of nice people. Mitch, I think your laugh is really cute. <laughs> Thanks, Starboy. Shaking my head, children. You imbeciles need to shut up. Bella, finish them. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> is she about to poop or fart? She's about to kill you. <laughs> Boy, why did you get that long pointy thing? I have a great idea. We can use this long pointy thing to plug her butt and then she won't fart on us. No, no, boy, don't do it. What if she farts on you still and you die? And like, what if she still farts anyways and then we all die? So I'll, I think it'll be pointless. Just, just fix Okay, fine, I won't do it. It's, it's too dangerous. So what do we do now? Let's run away. I'm just gonna plug her butt anyways because I think it's our best shot. Even if I die, if I don't plug her butt, we'll all die. Oh my gosh, Starboy, you're so brave. Take one for the team. That will never work, stupid. Her butt is too powerful. We'll see about that. I got it. Oh my gosh, no, Starboy. Why isn't it working? What's going on? Just do it. Just fight. Okay, I'll give you my best shot. exploded inside of her instead of uh, into the air. She's gone! Good thinking, Narboy. And how did that get back there? Ah! No, this can't be happening! <laughs> you are one rude bee. Uh. Too close. Personal space. What is she doing to the poor little kitty cat? What is she doing? Now to really set it off. Three, two, one. Zombie fire activate! Oh my gosh, what's going on? What is this crap? This is too creepy. And I'm addicted to Melanie Martinez. That's great and all, but why do you look like that? What the heck? Becky, she's a freaking zombie. She looks so scary. I'm gonna try this again. No! 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 I don't know who these idiots are, but for some reason, I really want to kill them. 
All of you did it. Shut up. No one is allowed to talk unless it's a Melanie Martinez song. And only I can sing them. You know, being in that grave was awfully boring. And now that you guys are my friends, you guys get to, oh, except for you, Master, you guys get to sing my songs with me. Okay? Yes, Brenda. I am your master. Keep singing, my dear. You want to be friends with us? I thought you were a zombie and wanted to kill us. So it's not so bad after all. She wants to be our friend. I thought it was going to be an apocalypse or something. She just wants to sing. That's not so bad. And our boy is so gullible. He thinks that she wants to be our friend and wants to sing with us. She obviously is trying to trick us. But she can, like, eat our brains or something. Okay, so there are a few rules you have to repeat after me. So listen to what I say and then repeat it. My friends don't walk, they run. Skinny dipping rabbit holes for fun. Popping, popping balloons with guns. Get high on helium! Oh my god, my ears hurt! Oh, she thought she, said she was gonna sing! Oh, my ears hurt! Oh my god, shut up! I thought I sang back! Shut up! We paint our roses red! Each shade from a different person's head. This dream, there is a killer. Getting drunk with a blue cat's or a paler! that the, her voice is pretty bad but I don't think it's just the bad voice I think there's something in it it's making us all sick and dizzy and we can't move I don't know I think it's like the zombie in her or something <laughs> oh, our ears hurt. <laughs> I thought she was gonna sing a few good lovely tunes <laughs> now I'm gonna finish them off and I'm gonna sing more Melanie Martinez songs my master will be so proud of me. Did I mention that I love Melanie Martinez? She's the best person ever created. I'm going to her house next so we can sing together. Oh my God, my ears hurt. Shut up. Even in her grave, Brenda has listened to Melanie Martinez songs. She has listened to over 50 million thousand Melanie Martinez songs. That's more than the number of dead people there are in the world. Yes! Finish them off! Sing some more so they can die! Before I kill them and sing another song, I'm gonna dress them up as Melanie Martinez! No! Just sing and let them die! Don't dress them up now! We don't have time! But Master, this is my tradition. I must do this. I respect you, but I like Melanie Martinez way more than you, so I'm going to do this, and then I'll kill them. I used to dress up my own friends in Melanie Martinez clothes when I was alive. Now I'm going to do it to them. You know, bring back the olden days. Brenda has dressed Narboy, Becky, Mitch, and Furball to look like Melanie Martinez. Kill them now! Kill them! I understand the bee is my master or whatever, but he's getting on my nerves. I do what I want. Ow! My head hurts! Ow! Yes, Carrot, I do. Nardish! Nar! Nar! What is this sorcery that I'm wearing? Melanie number one, put your head back, headband back on right now! I am not going to put my head back by hand, whatever that crap is, back on my head. What are you gonna do about it, new? Ah, you're getting on my nerves! Pacify her! She's getting on my nerves! Ooh, your voice is getting better. Have you had practice? And plus, it doesn't even hurt my ears anymore. Uh, oh my god, my head and my headband fell! Ooh, it's really cute, actually. Uh, my head! Uh... Ooh, what am I wearing, girl? This is like a poppin'! Quack, 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 quack. Why are you all getting up? Get back down and put your Melanie Martinez clothes back on. We are not getting back down. You can't do anything about it. But I'm keeping these clothes on because they're cute or whatever. You got good taste, though. Oh, yeah. If you guys don't get down now, I'll be a cry baby, cry baby. Because I don't freaking care. Cry baby, cry baby. You sound terrible, but for some reason, I don't want to fall over and die anymore. For some reason, after she let us wear these clothes, her voice is not hurting us anymore. Actually... We just want her to shut up. It's true. It's true. I like these clothes. 
What's happening? Why aren't they dying? Your voice is really bad now. Shut up, you dumb Guys, now that her voice isn't working anymore, let's just finish her off. Ugh, I can't believe this is happening. I just want to see Melanie Martinez. If they kill me, I'll never be able to see my idol. I love her so much. Uh, I have to think of something. Aha! Let's jump her now. No! Wait, please. Would you like these cookies? And made just for you. Oh my gosh, guys, I think she's trying to be nice. I think it's a peace offering. I think I could eat the cookies. I'm hungry. Nah, boy, are you really gonna eat those cookies? Mm, they do, they're quite scrumptious. And maybe if I eat them, we could be friends and we'll stop fighting. Okay, I will eat them. Narboy, are you sure about this? What if it's something bad? My plan is working perfectly. Melanie Martinez, here I come. Mmm, sugar cookies, my second favorite cookie. Thanks for making it for me, and thanks for the awesome clothes. You're a really good friend. I don't care if you're a zombie. I made them just for you. A little bit of sugar, but lots of poison too. <gasps> poison? Oh my gosh, it is poison normal! Oh my god! The sugar is really good, but I feel the poison going through my veins. Ugh. You ignore this one! <laughs> I heard a song like this before that Melanie Martinez sang. You're right, our boy Melanie Martinez did sing a song like this. Yes, fine. I'll admit it. I, I I listen to Melanie Martinez. I knew you listened to her. Yeah, I listened to her, but I kind of forgot the lyrics. I think they go like this. Um, let me see. Um, do you like these cookies? They're made just for you. A little bit of sugar, but lots of poison too. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I almost trusted you. I thought I could believe in you. Crap, my plan almost worked. I have a great plan, and I think it's gonna work. Brenda, wait, I read something before on the Melanie Martinez website. You read? Yeah, of course I read. And the biggest lie was told that day. Be quiet, Midge. Anyways, I read on the Melanie Martinez website that if you make Melanie Martinez cookies, and you eat them, that you would be able to survive if you were a true fan, even if they were poisonous. And the, the big fans, they survived it. Oh my gosh, really? This is some Melanie Martinez insider info. It sure is, and if you are a true fan, which I think you are, you should be able to eat them and not die. I can do that challenge, no problem, because I am the biggest Melanie Martinez fan. Ah! I'm the biggest one! If anybody can survive those cookies, I can. I survived. Oh my gosh, Becky, you were lying. I thought you were telling the truth. You're smart. Oh my gosh, all of her clothes are off. And she's not there, she's gone. We did it! For real though, I kind of wanted those clothes because they were kind of cute. Mitch, I'll buy them for you. Buy them for me too, Narboy. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll buy them for you too, Becky, but no promises. Shut up, you idiots. This is to Pokemon. Oh my god. While I was in my grave, there was no Pokemon, but now there's a bunch in the real world. I can't wait to catch them all. Huh, you're all rare Pokemon. You're Eternal, so you're Squirtle. You little duck, you're Psyduck. You bunny, you're uh, Veneery. And you sheep, you're Mareep. Squirtle? I'm just an average turtle. I'm not a Pokemon. 
Veneery? Do I look like a Veneery to you? My name is Mitch, and I'm not a sheep. I'm a freaking poodle. Shut up, Pokemon. I own you now, and I'm gonna catch you with my Pokeball. This little boy is really crazy. He thinks we're Pokemon. What? And where is his Pokeball? What Pokeball? You added Pocky. You have no Pokeball. Bash! You can summon your Pokeball. That's a great idea, Beedrill. I mean, Master. Beedrill? I'm not a Pokemon, you stupid. I'm your boss. Yeah, right, right. I'm gonna summon my Pokeball. There it is. Does he really think I'm gonna fit in there? I mean, I've had way too many cakes to fit in there. Now, which one of you will go first? No, I won't let you. Or whatever, I'll just catch you then. If you won't get out of my way. Oh my god, Narboy's in the Pokeball! It's not Narboy, it's Squirtle. And he's in there now, and I can summon him whenever I like. Squirtle, I choose you. Nar, nar. Nar? What does that mean? Nar, nar. If you're a Squirtle, say Squirtle. Nar. Squirtle. Nar. Squirtle. Squirtle. Nar. Ugh, oh, whatever. He'll still kill you, though. Oh my god, I can't believe he turned Narboy into a Pokemon. Narboy, are you there? Nar. Mitch, this is not really the real Narboy. He's in control by Bash, so we can't really talk to him. We have to fight him. No, I'm sure if I talk to him, he'll snap out of it and he'll help us fight Bash. No, we have to fight Narboy. But he's our friend. Nice. Now, Mitch, don't talk to him. He's a zombie now. He's not in control of his actions, so talking will do no good. The sheep is right. It's true. Let's battle. I'm not a bloody sheep. I'm a freaking poodle. I, I guess you're right, but how are we going to fight Narboy? We don't have a Pokeball or any Pokemon. Sucks to be you, huh? Guess you'll have to fight him yourself. Okay, fine. I'll battle him. Wingardi Leviosa. Mitch, it's Pokemon, not Harry Potter. I know, but I thought it would work because there's like magic stuff like zombies and crap, so I assumed it would work. This is a Pokemon duel, you imbecile. Let's battle! Oh my gosh, what's going on? This is a Pokemon battle. Now let's battle! Squirtle, you scratch! Nice. Ow, that kind of hurt! Uh, Mitch, you no, Becky, I have something else. I I'm not Voldemort, but I'm gonna use this to help us live. You dare speak the Dark Lord's name in vain? Mitch, this isn't Harry Potter. Becky, shut up. Let me do this. You want us to live or not? I was ruining my moment. Quack, quack. Quack. Fireball, is that a wand? This is Pokemon, not Harry Potter. I don't care. Give me the dang wand. This might send me a one-way ticket to Azkaban, but I don't care. Abadacadabra! What's an Abadacadabra? I've never heard of that Pokemon move. Cuz, stupid, it's not a Pokemon move. It's a Harry Potter spell. Uh, hmm, maybe I missed. Abadacadabra! Uh, Curcio! Amperio! Oh, brother. I'm getting tired of this. It's- your turn's over. Squirtle, hit her with the water splash. No! <laughs> Pokemon Master. Nah. No, I'll just talk him out of it. We're not gonna fight Narboy. Squirtle, attack! Wait! Narboy, don't you remember? We're your friends. How could you do this to us? Nah. Please, Narboy, you're the best babysitter we ever had. Nah. Squirtle, what are you doing? Kill them! I don't know what's happening, but my Pokemon is not obeying my commands. Unacceptable! Kill them! Yes, kill them! Narboy, or should I say Squirtle? Kill them! You're the best babysitter ever. And Mitch, she actually does like you back, so if you turn good again, you guys have a chance. <laughs> Mitch! No! What's happening? Come on, Mitch, just say it. I don't know what's happening, but I think Mitch's plan to talk to Narwhal is actually working. Yeah, uh, she's right, and yeah, we would love to have you back because you're like really cool and cute. No, no. Mitch, I'm here. You thought you could catch me in the Pokeball? I'll do the same to you. Pokemon, I choose you! No! No, this is impossible! Oh, it looks like you left the Pokemon! I'm going to summon him now! Boo, boo! Yes! Yeah, I choose Oh yeah, you thought you could do that? Psych! Ow, how dare you put your paws on me! Where did my Pokeball go? Oh my god, it disappeared! 
you would think. No. So now what are you gonna do? <coughs> Too close, personal space. I'll pick Bailey from Addicted to LPS Popular. Come on, precious. It's that spider that Maxwell had a crush on. Oh my god, she does have a big head, like Becky said. It doesn't matter, she's gonna make her a zombie. Green, two, one! Zombifier activate! Bring such harm. She, she looks terrifying. Ah, she does. Oh my god, I just want to watch LPS popular. In heaven, I just wanted to see all the hot mans like Sage. Instead, I'm here. So I'm gonna kill them for making me come back. I already met Brooke and Savannah. Now I just want to meet Sagey. Instead, I have to meet you, idiots. Ah! Sucks to be you. I must get rid of you all. <gasps> Is that a computer? That means I can watch the new LPS popular episode. Move out my way, suckers. She just wants to take Sage from you. Look, her talking about the hot men's or whatever. She wants to take Sage from you. So kill her instead of us! You want to take Sage from me? Ew! You don't sound anything like Brooke! And no, of course not. I don't want to take Sage. I've always liked Tom more. Oh, that's fine. I don't even care about Tom. I'll kill them. <coughs> now can I have Sage? Sage is mine! <laughs> now for my new popular episode! She can turn on you any second. Savannah is loyal. Savannah, kill him! Get him! I watch popular sometimes, and Savannah is my favorite character. It would suck for her to kill me. I love her. Yeah, Savannah, don't listen to her. She wants to take Sage away from you. That can't be good. Do you want to do that, Spider? Ew, why do you sound like that? You're definitely not the real Savannah. Die, you idiot. She's a zombie Savannah, not the real Savannah. She may be a zombie Savannah, but she'll still kill you, though. And I don't want to take Sage from you. I like Tom better. What? Tom? You can't take Tom. See, Savannah? She wants to take your guys from you. She's She wants to leave you alone. She just wants you to kill us, and then she'll take your men away from you. Uh, I, I can't hold it in anymore. I want all of the hot mittens. Yes, Sage, Tom, all of them. Ha! What are you going to do about it? I control you. You stupid drum-headed spider. Why would you say that? How dare you? Please don't hurt me! Don't hurt me, I'm only 12! I'm a child, I don't know what I'm doing! Please don't! Please! They're gone! We talked Savannah into killing her! Yes, we did it! I can't believe it! That was 
rude. You made me fall. You're really a rude one. Oh, what do I do now? Hmm. I'll pick Bianca from Addicted to YouTube. Come on, Bianca. Get into my zombifier, my dear. Go, go. Oh no, why is he putting her in the zombifier? Get out of there. You're a monster. Get her out of there. Destroy the camera. I'll translate what Furball said. Furball said that we should steal the camera from her and take her picture. No, let's just get rid of it. Hmm. Sorry, Furball. I think we should just destroy the camera. Just get get rid of it, you know? Yeah, sweetie pumpkin. You should listen to the adults, okay? We know what we're talking about. Yeah, we're wise and experienced. While Bianca is just screaming into the camera, we're just gonna come out of the back and just destroy the camera you know what guys i ain't waiting no more her scream is irking my soul i'm just gonna break it right now ah my camera you broke it no uh, sky, sky squad can you hear me oh my god i think it's broken ah it is broken it's gone deep Rubel, we knew what we were talking about it's broken now she can't kill us now what am i gonna do how am i gonna make my youtube videos my life is over there's nothing for me to live for except youtube just make another one you stupid make another one how is she gonna make another one he's a magical zombie you stupid dog okay camera appear yes yes say cheese ah! i think we should listen to furball He's really smart. The other time he led me to you guys. He's really smart. You're right. Furball is really smart. So, not like mother, like son. Mmm, Midge, don't test me right now. Uh, I was joking, God. <laughs> Midge, don't cry. I'm here for you. <laughs> so, guys, who's taking the camera? I'll distract her and you two steal the camera. I hear what you idiots are saying. You'll never succeed. Hopefully our plan works because she is still screaming. All right, guys, I'm going to go distract her and you take that camera. Ah! Hey, Bianca. What? 
I have a proposition for you. I can scream louder than you. <sighs> you heard it here, Bianca Squad. This little imbecile challenged me. Okay, I'm gonna go get the camera. So what are you gonna do for the challenge video? I'm so excited, someone's gonna be in my video. Yay! Yeah, Bianca, it's your first collab. I'm gonna get so many subscribers. Yes, yes! More subscribers, more views! Hi, Bianca Squad! Where's my camera? Over here, Bianca. You said that if we take a picture of somebody with this, they'll die. So say cheese! Personally, I would say carrots. We tricked you, Bianca. There was no collab after all. No, I'm supposed to get more views on YouTube. This can't be happening. I thought of a video idea though. Noobs trick me, I take pictures of me and I die. I'll still get new views that way, I don't care. Okay, say cheese or carrots. Oh, subscribe. Ah! <gasps> She's gone. No, this can't be, this can't be happening. Oh, I get it, can't be happening because you're a bee. <laughs> Of beasts. Now we can call the police on you, stupid bee. You can't do anything about it now. Four against one. That little duck barely counts as one. Quack, quack. Oh, you guys must have forgotten about somebody. I am not the one who stole the bodies. I've had some help. What do you mean you're not the one who stole the bodies? I've had help, and it wasn't Eustace Bartholomew either. It's somebody you know very well. Someone we know very well. Uh, who could that be? It can't be Alina. Tell us who stole the bodies for you. Tell us who did your dirty work for you. Spill the beans. It was me. <gasps> I stole the bodies. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, why am I doing this? I don't know how I feel about this. Kidnapping bodies? That's a low even for me. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Whatever. God. I'm gonna put her on the top so she won't get squished. Here you go, my love. Fragile, fragile, beautiful self. Huh. I, I didn't want to do this to them, but they, they brought this on themselves. Alright, here we go. It was me. Hello, Maxwell. Yeah! Maxwell. Oh my gosh, I knew something was fishy about you. See, bitch, I was right from the beginning. I told you something was up. Maxwell. Why would you do that? Because everybody in the Indexed show treated me badly. And I wanted to get revenge. The bee was the only person that was nice to me the whole time. He came to me so sweetly and said, Hey, I can help you. I can make everybody be nice to you. And I was like, hey, why not? I lied to him. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And by the way, personal bee. Yeah, but the bee is bad. She wants to take over the world, not be nice to you. Yeah, you idiot. She was tricking you and you fell for it. Well, I didn't know that at the beginning, so shut up, Becky. And second of all, I know, I felt bad. So that's why I helped you guys come here, where you can defeat the bee. And now I realize that the bee wasn't trying to help me. She was just trying to take over the world. So, yeah. But why did you steal the bodies? Those innocent people did nothing to you, sir. They did nothing to me. Did you ever watch the show, our boy? They bullied me the whole show. The entire show. Bailey, she was addicted to LPS Popular. And she was the only person I've ever loved. And she treated me like a pet. She called me Bailey and Gigi. Oh my god, you can be my pet. Like, I'm not a pet. I'm a person too. You're a turtle, but oh, that is really sad. She was really mean to you. Whatever, we all get our hearts broken one time or another. Next. I feel your pain, bro. And it doesn't end there. You know Brenda? I was addicted to Melody Martinez. She made me dress up in Ma Melody Martinez clothing. And she humiliated me. Birthday, Brenda. Get out! And then she kicked me out of her house when it was her party. For no reason. Dean, this gotta hurt. Yes, it did hurt. And also, while she was humiliating me, my best friend, yes, he was my best friend, Bash. He was at the, at the party with me too. You're my best friend, Bash. But then he became addicted to Pokemon. You're my best friend too. But then I realized something. You're a Pokemon. Pokemon, not this again, Bash. And captured me as Squirtle. Shut up, Squirtle. Pokemon, I choose you. I do. I look like a freaking Squirtle to you. Ow, that hurt. What was that for? Ugh, a 
I didn't catch you, but I will this time, and I can't be friends with the Pokemon. So banish out of my sight. What? We're best friends. <laughs> okay, it's starting to get a bit sad, but what did Bianca do to you? Oh, Bianca, the girl that can see YouTube? Well, I was one of the few people who watched her videos, and I actually liked them. Oh, this looks like a fun video. My evil roommate. <laughs> Let me reply to this video because she replies to everybody. And I would comment on every single video. And she would reply <laughs> to everybody but mine. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, time to do a reply to my fans. But Come my comment was, was left unanswered. Who is this, Maxwell? Great video. Awesome. Keep making more. Ew, who is this nerd? I'm not replying to him. He ignored my comment out of every other comment. That's really mean. That's sad. But what about Bella, the little skunk? She was a mean little skunk. I was in the park one night enjoying my time. Oh gosh, I really do miss Bash, my best friend. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Can you stop doing that? <laughs> but she farted all night and doesn't even apologize. So stop, please. I'm really having a hard time. <laughs> I was in a coma for three days because of that fart, and she never said sorry, not even once. It's true, that fart is murderous, even we fainted. And it's not just this, I've been bullied my whole life, but everybody treated me badly, so it was the last straw. So when the sweet me came to me, I thought I would help somebody who was nice to me for once, but I guess I was wrong. And that's why I helped you. But I guess it's too late now, I'm going to jail. We're not going to jail anytime soon, my sweet Maxwell. Yes, ma'am. Get off of me, you stinky pig. You smell nasty, Bartholomew. What kind of name is that? Bartholomew, I've got the dumb bunny. Get the sheep. You better not get near me, you dumb little pig. Get off of me. Oh my god. Get off of me, you stink. Ha ha. Good job, you stupid. Ah! Look. I got this one, master. Throw him in. All done. Oh my god, I can't live in here. You're talking about you? My head is squished into your butt. I have it the worst of them all. My head is squished into both of your butts. Uh, don't you think it's a little crowded in there, sir? Well, this is only temporary. We'll get rid of them soon, Maxwell. Do not fear. No, nobody can stop me. Alina's in jail. They're in my cage. And now I'm free to take over the world because nobody will stop me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sleep now. Call me when you need me. You are so useless, Bartholomew. It's a good thing I have Maxwell. Maxwell, me and you together will take over the world. Hand in hand. I don't want to take over the world hand in hand. I just want people to be nice to me. I don't want to take over the world. I've had enough of this. Go off. Get out of there. Hurry, go. Oh my gosh. Thank God. My glasses. Hey Siri, call 911. Calling 911. Yes, good job, Maxwell, and we got the beat. Get off of me, you stupid! Get off, you'll never prevail! We already have prevailed. The police are on their way. Okay, uh, that's good. And guys, I'm turning myself into the police because I deserve it. No, don't do it, Maxwell. It's okay. We'll forgive you. Just tell Alina what happened, and I'm sure she'll be fine. Yes, you're our hero. We couldn't have done this without you, even though you started it, but still. Quack, 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 quack. Yes, just because you made a little mistake doesn't mean you deserve to go to jail. It's all right. We'll for we forgive you, and you can be our friend. Maxwell, don't listen to them. They're lying to you. They're going to abandon you as soon as I go to jail. Shut up, Lee. You tried to trick me the whole time. You were the one who taking advantage of me. And thanks, guys, for those words. I guess I won't turn myself in. I just have to really apologize to Lena and everybody. I'm really sorry. Mm. Guys, the police are here. Let's put them in that cage so that when the police come, they can just get them right away. Great idea, Becky. Let's do it. And there. That's what you deserve. You've made a huge mistake. I will be back to get revenge. You will have plenty of time to think about your actions in prison. Now, guys, let's go. The police will take care of this. Yeah, guys, let's get out of here. <laughs> now, you're a new
Hey guys, it's Alina. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more of my videos, click on the subscribe button. You should also follow me on Instagram and add me on Snapchat. And hey, there's a few more videos on the right, so check those out too. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.